Ay, nan live na pala tayo pero okay, sorry po mga kanjan nanonood. Nandito po tayo sa high grounds na kung saan masarap ang pagkain pero mas masarap ang susunod natin na labanan which is between the two teams of Pacific Macta and SGJ Reborn. Once again ako po ulit si R2G kasama ko ngayon. I see. Salvatore. Nayanig ang buong high ground spray. Lahat ng tao busog ang mata. Pero pagtambalin mo naman ng dalawang higante sa laro ng crossfire, eh bakit hindi yayanig ang buong high grounds? My God, man, the matchup we have all been waiting for the whole day is finally nearing to our senses. Matutunghayan na natin kung sino nga ba talaga ang mamumuno sa labanan ng crossfire. Will the kings still remain over or will the newcomers of the town be able to defeat throne and now this is it the finals bracket Makta scoring a dub on to metal or on the other hand SGJ winning that matchup up against execration that led them to this matchup there's an image I want to show you I know uh, Salvatore okay here it is Sige. last year December 2022 mm. Nanalo ang SGJ reborn Woo! against Pacific Makta eh ano nangyari nung last year nun pre Last year, nanalo ang SGJ Reborn. Mm, okay. So, ngayon, it is a rematch of essentially that matchup kung saan nanalo ang SGJ Reborn against Pacific Macta. So, with this, there is the potential ba na SGJ will throw our defending champions again? Now? This is a different environment for both teams. Ha? SGJ now, a uh, newly established set of people with just Yobib leading the charge right now. And for uh, Pacific Makta, they know. They know every single bit of performance that SGJ will be throwing out today. And uh, this evening, man, it's just going to be filled with action, yep. surprise, uh, blood will be shed. Mm -hmm. And all emotions will be felt right sa, now. Sa mga hindi pa nag-guess yung picture natin, yung setup natin, ito na po yung grand finals. Yes, man. This is the big, this is the big one. So kung nanonood dyan sa bahay, or kung sino man nanonood dyan sa baba ng High Grounds Cafe, mag-share kayo, mag-comment kayo, mag-like kayo ng stream natin. Make sure you share it and make sure that all of your friends know na, na ngayon na nangyayari ang grand finals ng CFSPH. Ball. Yes. Season 2023. To be tuned in to more updates and news regarding Crossfire Philippines, head on over to facebook.com slash crossfireph para alam nyo kaagad ang mga giveaway, community events, at mga balita tungkol sa mga maintenance nga naman talaga. Tama. Para malaman mo na may nululuto at may pakonsuelo si Crossfire. Eh, like and follow nyo na nga ang Facebook page na yan ni Insa na yan, no? Mm -mm. So, let's just take a look, pre. What a stack event we have yeah. right now. We are just contemplating from the third place match. Ngayon, may bago na namang niluluto ngayon ng CFSPH and that is the grand finals of SGJ versus Pacific Makta. I, I, I want to say this, no? SGJ Reborn, yeah. last season, wala sila sa top four. Ngayon, somehow, this Reborn team, Talagang Reborn, no? Reborn talaga sila. So now that they're back and then they're here in the second place, I don't think they're going to allow uh, opportunity like this to pass up. But with that being said, no Pacific Makta. The, I mean, you hear that name, diba? Pag narinig mo yung pangalan ng Pacific Makta, naniisip mo, diba? Dominance. Narinig ko, Summer, summer Champions. Summer Champions. Diba? diba? So, when, it, when you hear the name of Pacific Makta, who have been absolutely unstoppable, especially nung last season. Nakita natin, last season, I think, isang dalawa lang ma yung mapa na nahulog nila dun sa buong tournament na yun. Buong season. Buong tournament. It's they only lost one maybe against Gaon Gaming. Yeah. But uh, apart from that, undefeated sila dun in that regard. Kaya, ako eh, um, yes, SGJ Reborn looks like a new Phoenix. Yes. Kasi Reborn sila, but Pacific Makta is still the wall. Yeah, you would argue that Makta right now is one of the best forms of Filipino crossfire we have seen uh, in a while. Talaga. Kasi, you could just uh, you could just point out that every set of macro that you could point out to every single person has been has flourished is has been polished and such a breath of fresh air para sa ating lahat. Grabe talaga yung team ng Pacific Makta and definitely they are the titans of this game. But let's take a look at their enemy counterpart. Introducing SGJ Reborn.
Introducing first, Team SGJ Reborn! Keller, Tino, Yobib, KSA, Nivel, and Jolina! And there we go, the team of SGJ Reborn, Solid Gold, Jewelry Reborn, and they are really reborn here with this roster that they've had with Tino, Keller, B-Boy, or see Yobib, KSA, and Nivel, N-I-V-L. They have a bit of a roster change up since the last season, but it has, has proven to be very beneficial to them while keeping a core member like Tino and Yobib. Tino mo naman si B-Boy ngayon, 1.59 yung kanyang KD and kill per round, he's always good for one. Nakikita ko talaga na SGJ really likes to play around Yobib as the one that should be alive on crucial situations and Yobib sets the tempo and tone of how SGJ should attack a specific site which in turn would give SGJ so much success in their venture in the Fall Finals. That is why they are here in the ground finals now let us shift to the reigning defending champions that is Pacific Magda and their opponents Team Pacific Magda, ZYK, Revenge, Justin, MVA, Aldrin, and King. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pacific Magda. Crowd loving every single bit of the white and black. That is Pacific Magda. Heading into the grand finals with a lot of pride and color on their backs. Being led by Aldrin with a whopping 1.61 KDA, the highest we have seen so far to this day. And they are still relying on the map picks that they are very common to the territory of PM. And I wonder what could be the shakeup for Pacific Makta with a team like SGJ that is very unconventional and unorthodox in terms of game style. And Pacific Makta really likes to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies with somehow adjusting to how the enemy plays. This is what I'm saying. When I saw SGJ, the number one thing that I think when they're fighting a team against like Pacific Makta, I think they're going to study. Yeah. They're going to study research. They're going to study, right? Because important yan against a team like Pacific Magta, al dapat alamin mo kung ano yung mga setup nila, ano yung mga, ano yung mga ginagawa nila sa mga mid-rounds. Kung nahanap mo yung basa yan against Pacific Magta, then kayang-kaya nila panalunin to. Tingnan natin ngayon mga key players and it is to be expected oh! si B-Boy at si Justin, ating mga bata. It's the, it's the young guns! Lumalaban! Sino ang mas angat? Face off nga naman talaga between Yo Bib and... Justin, mm -mm. well, Yobib definitely is all across the board the uh, somehow the efficient one considering the KDA that he has offered for SGJ. But Justin, there is no justification of the KDA versus on how he performs in game, huh? Mm -mm. Because Justin really is the spark plug and the one that could really contribute to the late game uh, style of Pacific Makta. So now the question is. A person that plays the late game versus a one that goes aggressive in the early. That will be a clash of styles. Ito, with that clashing of styles, we will have a clash of words as we throw it down to the host, Pocholo Estrada. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Keller and Revenge. Now they're going to give a few words before we start. Let's start with Keller. Kamusta? Any final words bago mag start ang pagbakan? Uh, masaya po dahil nakabot po kami ng top 2 ngayon. Ang inangad lang po namin ay top 4 pero sobra po yung binigay sa amin ngayon. Sa mga kalabang ko po masasabi ko lang, good luck sa atin parehas. Kung anong papala rin, ayun na yun. Good luck, Habban. Okay, okay. Revenge, ano pong masasabi mo? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your grand finals match. Shake hands po kayo.
Ladies and gentlemen, Pacific Magda versus SCJ Reborn. Make some noise! Casters, back to you. It's time for the main event nga Pacific Mac versus SGJ Reborn. Nakita natin doon si Revenge. Nakakatakot yung good luck na yung bre. Oo, parang parang ang sinasabi niya. One word. Oo, one word lang eh. Parang yung gawain niya mas malakas pa sa kanyang sasabihin. Ayan My naman goodness. talaga. Kung galing ba naman kay Revenge yung good luck na yun, eh ako kikilabutan din naman ako doon. Pero Kel R, no, definitely... It's just a sign to say, just a sign to say na this is going to be one hell of a fight. Yeah, Kel R giving the best hospitality we could have possibly had right now. And that could spark the whole emotion here in High Grounds. No? Yeah, oh, wow. it starts with the map picks. And now, let's go at the map picks compound. Hindi tayo nagkakalayo sa candy store na kung, pa, kung saan pumili ang Pacific Macta. Tumutu Patuloy-tuloy pa rin talaga kung saan sila uh, sanay na sanay sa mga high stakes matchup na ganito. Uh -oh. They like to play at compound but on a different spectrum on how other teams react on compound. So this is very looking like uh, a side that Makta really wants to force SGJ to adjust upon, kahit game one pa lang. Ngayon, map number two, it's Black Widow, map in which Pinas. both teams really excel at. Pero ang nakikita ko talaga dito, SGJ, with their early aggression, could be a good side knowing that Makta would start blacklist. Tama. Namakita na natin dito yung map three natin, pinili ng Pacific Macta is going to be Ankara followed up by SDJ's Reborn map pip of Eagle Eye and ang huling nating mapa kung napunta tayo sa Game 5 is going to be Ankara and these honestly sa totoo lang this is, these are maps that I expected to not be picked by uh, these players yung nagugulat ako walang port na linabas ng Pacific Macta siguro yeah. inisip nila and sub base as well su sub base like, wait there's two Ankaras maybe yeah. one of it is port uh, one, one of it one of, one of it is port, port. Pero, uh, there's the port pero okay. looking at looking at the bands man I really expected somehow Pacific Macta pulling in a port wherein after compound the adjustment phase is so huge na tingin ko magkakaroon ng misalignments si SGJ but Ama. for SGJ they really they really took the chance of taking Black Widow it's a very 50-50 matchup I'm not putting in all the odds on to Pacific Macta knowing they really have a history of dropping a single map on a series now it is Black Widow in which both teams really do excel I think SGJ's early aggression could give them at least a dub on this series. It could potentially, and but it's it's compound uh, definitely. Alam natin ito yung mga most picked maps ng Pacific Macta based of the statistics ng binigay sa atin. Yeah, and that's still very dangerous for SGJ. If if it were to come down to it, I want to see better mid round calls coming up from SGJ. I feel like that would be a deciding factor pag dating natin dito sa mga map because feeling ko strategy wise or pagbabasa. Pwede, it can go either way. Eh. Pwede sa SGJ yan, pwede sa Pacific Macta. But when it comes to those mid-rounds, if we see something like a Metacore happen kanina, I mean, like, like, uh, like right Lala now, it's going to be a problem. Oh, pare, sa totoo lang eh. Kasi that's the type of gameplay na, alam mo yun, na that separates you from being a good team from a great team. Pare sa akin yun, yung mid-round calls. And with that, kung supporta kayo sa Pacific Macta or SGJ Reborn, sa mga nonood dyan, please, Comment nyo na kung sino man naman ang sinasupportan yung team. Hashtag Pacific Macta win ba? PM Macta win? Or hashtag SGJ ano, win? I, kay, kayo na bahala dyan sa mga yeah. nanonood. Comment, like, share, lahat-lahat na. Oh Pero my God, excited na. Anong ibig sa sabihin pag nawala na yung graphics sa baba? Tapos pamunta na tayo sa cinematic. There goes the lively crowd live here oh, at High Crowds Team of Avenue. And the crowd is loving every single bit. Hyper na hyper si Kuya. Pakita mo kung sino ka. Yeah. Ayan! Giling lang my idol. Yan, ito yung maganda dito sa crowd. I really love team, the LAN environment, pre. Oh, oh. The crowds give the best energy possible. Kung hindi man galing sa atin, it has to be from the crowd, man. It has to come from the crowd. And this crowd is ready. Ako ready, ready pre, talaga. Just ako. imagine, we have, ako, eh. been here, we have been here for like, what, four or five hours. The energy from the start is still as lively as it is right now. No? Dito sa high grounds. My man. God, man. And Grounds Cafe. I can't just wait for the cinematic to pop in because yeah, at least we're that close. Okay, so we still got one minute here. Okay. With this being said, um, like we can talk about a bit of a, a changes here when it comes to Grand Finals experience. Yeah. I want to give it a bit to Pacific Mahakta pagdating sa mga situation na niyan kasi they've been in this situation many times. Ilang beso na ba nagkita yung Pacific Mahakta sa finals matchup? Palagi. Diba? Palagi, Palagi. Na lang. 
and they just had a good run nung summer championships. So they so they have a very good condition entering into this matchup, no? Mm -hmm. So they already have the mental, the conditioning, mostly everything. When you try to compare SGJ, they have been more on the local side, pero Pacific Mac has been competing on the APAC summer for quite some time now. And there is so much pressure under the flag of SGJ. The gold is in f uh, is in fear of the black and white. If there is something to take away, no, from the uh, pagiging second place, um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Because pagdating sa alam ko sa second place, pag second place kana dito sa tournament na to makakaroon ka pa din ng slot sa CF APAC. Yeah. This time fall season. So there is still the APAC fall season na mga yare, and both of these teams have qualified for such. Pacific Macta, obviously, they have more experience when it comes to an event like APAC. SDJ are born. Kait papano, they do have the international experience. So regardless of what happens, both of these teams, we will see both of them compete dun sa APAC series of uh, I believe mamayang. November pa naman yeah. siya, di ba? Gun skill wise pre, we already have the matchup in our heads. Pero Tama. gaano sila katagal lalaban dito? So it's more on the wits, it's more on the mental, stamina. And yeah, and stam and basically the whole game plan of both teams, mm -mm. which reigns over and which one is the most surprising out of the bag. So mm -mm. I am expecting so much for SGJ in order to just take down a very prominent opponent that is Pacific Macta. Yeah. I really Really, really, really like to see a different breed of uh, SGJ when it comes to, you know, just putting in the work and the aggression over to this uh, somehow a very, very once in a lifetime matchup. Because, you know, the animosity, the environment, and, you know, the, the emotion is really right here as the centerpiece mm. of this grand finals matchup. Tensions are rising, yeah. If there is something to take away from that, tensions are rising, uh, talaga. As, uh, well, uh, we see the pro players here, they are trying to get a big uh, warm-up here and they are just making sure that everything is right for their conditions. Yeah. Right? Naman din yung crowd. Just crowd. Puno na, actually, puno na tayo sa dito Almost sa high grounds. Almost full house na tayo. Almost full house na tayo. Ito yung mga sumali ng kada linggong giveaway. Sila yung nagpakita ng suporta sa milestone streams na pinapakita natin from Crossfire Philippines. The support from the Filipino crowd is absolutely amazing and heart fulfilling. And there it is, the gateway inside of Compound, the cinematic and the picture now being drawn to our faces. Yes. Global Risk PM, Blacklist SGJ. And seconds away, seconds we are now away. going to start map number one. SGJ Reborn have the opportunity here for the, to set the pace. Alam nila pang kung ano ba yung, uh, pwede ba silang magsimula ng mabilisan, mabagalan, passive play ba sila, agresibo ba ang gusto nilang gawin. Ito, that's the good thing coming out from the blacklist side. As, as opposed to global risk, alam natin yung sa team ng Pacific Magta, mas mataas ang kanilang statistics pagdating sa Pacific uh, global risk side. There. And ito na nga. It is R2G. High grounds going wild and ballistic. As now, Pacific Magta and SDJ will be going at it one another tearing off one for one in the pillars as SGJ looks towards for more casualties at nakuha lang nila yung dalawa at wala pang bawi ang Pacific Macta dito as they lead the charge with a 4v2 now Revenge and Aldrin the dynamic duo that could possibly turn things for Pacific Macta but it looks like they will be trying to go for a passive playstyle they will not be going aggressive because they know SGJ has all corners of the map Tama. so these two Terminators coming out from the side of Pacific Macta. We call them Terminators because that is what they are. Still have the potential oh. to be able to win this first round for them. But it will come all come down to how will they play this out. Revenge, unang pitas. Okay. Nahanap si Tito. This is the start, R2G. Once Revenge gets in the groove, no one can stop the android. That is Revenge. Now Aldrin needs to back up on what Revenge is performing right now. But take a look. Three members are still inside the pillars. And now they're just exiting outside of lobby and there goes the entry pinapasok but they have gunned down the bouncer that is Aldrin Revenge 1v2 Kellar is one hit away but Yobib still has plenty of HP so there could still be a miracle that could happen here for Pacific Makta time is ticking R2G okay pag ito sa side ng uh, SGJ potentially pwede pa sila umikot dito to the B site but Revenge thinking himself Baka pumunta sila ng A, but it's not the it's not the right call. Galing sa ng Pacific Magta kasi tingnan mo ba naman, B-Boy and Keller, naghihintay lamang 
ng potential rotate coming out from Revenge and there it is that's the rotate SGJ should strike when the iron's hot pwede na sila pumasok okay. ngayon and so, tignan mo ba naman is Revenge just baiting in SGJ they literally have SGJ on the palm of their hands Revenge the Filipino sniper doubted as one of the greatest can you give PM the win that they need or SGJ can triumph over as they strike first in this one. 1v2. 30 seconds. This is a dangerous spot for Revenge. No utils whatsoever. All he has to work around is the intel on where KLR and Yobib is. E pumasok. Pumuelo. Tingin sa likod. Walang mata sa likod si Revenge. He gets got down by KLR. Now SGJ strikes first. First blood galing ha. Sa side. Nang blacklist, stretching it out. Alam nila na kailang nila lumaban ng pillars ng maag. Hindi silang nagwage, nagtagumpay dun sa labanan nyan. Mukang yan ulit ang plano para sa dalawang team nato. It's the pillars aggression, the pillars fight. SGJ nakaamoy ng Pacific Makta na nagawal yan. Back away, try to use the information. Pumunta sa ibang site. A long is now the is now the I know the objective for the team of SGJ. Grenades thrown. Okay. Now finally SGJ na tauhan na sila talaga para pumunta ng long A no. And there's still no urgency for Pacific Makta to back it up. So they really want to defend B side at all cost. Revenge now gets the kill onto Yobib. They started off good for Pacific Makta. Hmm. Pacific Makta now numbers advantage. I believe SGJ. Playing just a bit too slow there on the push. Still there. How in the world is Pacific Makta still in that spot? It's all dependent dito sa anchor ni Revenge. Si Revenge ang number one person na gohold dito ng Elong. This is a very unusual setup. We usually don't see this from any of the teams na nanlumalaban dito. ZYK pala ang naiwan jan sa Elong, holding it out. Potential has the potential to stop this push right on its track, pero Tino will have to land this shot. Jan kay ZYK, tama ka nga. That's very, that's very nice. Sobrang passive, but ZYK needs to be careful. He could possibly be double picking this one. I make it three, and ZYK lands him down. Lumin yung ayo, ayan yung kabalaran yung ZYK sets it down for PM two. Harang, dalawa pa yung harang para sa Makta para tapusin na to. And Tino gets gunned down by Justin in IBL. The lone member for SGJ. The most passive game style we have ever seen. But patience is indeed a virtue. R2G, 20 seconds in IBL. Unti-unting napipitas. Wala na siyang buhay dito. And Justin with a peak. Pacific Makta evens it out 1-1. to Pacific Makta, Rumes back na din. Dito sa first half natin. And now, SGJ. Maganda sana ang kinuha nilang information. However, it was just a bit too slow. At nabigla sila sa peak ni ZYK. An absolutely tremendous play. Tremendous setup na pinakita ng Pacific Makta. Ang tanong ngayon, it's, will they repeat it? Mukhang hindi. Iba naman ngayon. Making sure SGJ hindi makakuha ng basa sa kanila. Sniper holding out dito. Revenge making sure walang papasok dito galing sa mid. Kung may smoke man, it will be a piece of utility na kailangan gamitin ng SGJ para makadaan dito sa mid area. But so far, so good. Tino slowly okay. walking up dito sa mid, trying to find for a pickup as a zone. But so far, wala pa nang nahanap. Both teams playing passive, playing slow. Grabe talaga yung, ano, no? yung adjustment and specification that uh, Pacific Makta is trying to do. They really are playing passive just so SGJ could be surprised that they are not going for those long eight takes. Mm. SGJ is now adjusting towards the play style that Pacific Makta is doing. Just because SGJ doesn't want to get the 50-50s out of the picture. And they really want to win this so badly that they have to bow down their ego to the point that they just really want to play around the game style of Pacific Makta. No one has ever saw Pacific Makta play compound like this. I am always used to the mid takes, the rain of the the rain of the utils down mid, get sniper's nest, then take control of B. Tut ako sa naisa Makta na yon. But right now, it's looking like SGJ is not looking 
at that aspect alone. They are very passive. Revenge gets on to KSA. And there is a trade-off. It's a two-for-one so far. MBA and Aldrin making it work. But Kellar and Sino also does it. Whereas DJ and now Pacific Makta can now finally breathe. But they still have so much work to do. The time is ticking. 33 seconds now left on the clock before clock strikes down onto Pacific Makta. Retake situation. Now... Galing sila, Woo! dalawang pwesto. Isa, gagaling sa mid. Isa, gagaling sa likod. At ang pangalan niya ay si Tino, si Keller. Pero nahulag na rin ZYK ang magwawagi dyan. Giving another point to the team of Pacific Makta. And you can hear the crowd absolutely loves that. Galing sa team of black and white. Why would nobody love that? Pacific Makta play that absolutely smart. Grabe nga naman si Pacific Makta. But I have to give props on to SGJ. No? They were able to still flank down or at least read the flank of Pacific Makta. Somehow, Pacific Makta came out the, the winner on that one despite SGJ's first step in reading that strat. Ngayon, SGJ needs to have a better fortification of their own base in order to let Pacific Makta not get a run for their money. This is the question for SGJ. How consistent will they be to get that mid intact? Para hindi na tayo makakita ng isang tao from Pacific Makta get that sniper spot covered or at least the agency to have B lobby being defensed by Pacific Makta. Especially. The, the, the pick of potential of SGJ needs some work. Yep, yep. Revenge kasi yung mga setup na nakita natin dito galing sa Pacific Makta very sniper heavy, very revenge heavy. Uh, reliant sa, sa mga pitas na gagawin ni Revenge, sa information na kukunin ni Revenge. Uh, Nakahold lang siya dun sa angulo na yun, gamit ng sniper. And that's very vital for the team of Pacific Makta. If SGJ somehow finds a way to shut that down, they could potentially find more openings dito sa first half natin since sila yung blacklist smoke. Tinapon na Aldrin, susunod oh. na naka-bodyguard para kay Revenge. We've seen this duo time and time again. And alam natin, we call them yung dalawang Terminator. Eh, palagi sila magkasama ngayon. So, T so you need to get past that TI 800 or ano ba naman yung tawag ng Android. So Aldrin, no. mukang gusto oh, magagresibo dito. Aldrin, Tomesting, Tomesting nakakuha ng isa. He gets Yobib, but there's still two more. KSA gusto rin Tomesting. Isa, dalawa, but he cannot count to three. Kelar stops down Aldrin. Now the next oh, oh, victim nagpasok. could possibly be inside of the clinic. Oh, Pacific Pacta, sino nga ba? Si Tino, nagpapapasok ng walk-in, pero di ka makakakuha ng treatment, my idol. Ito na ang Pacific Pacta. Now leading into charge, Kelar with Wins oh. it that one, but Justin trades him down. ZYK gets outclassed because of the head glitch advantage, but the damage has been done right now. He needs to plant the C4, but with Kelar, no more resources under down 30% 30, 30 HP. Then no. just a peak. Kelar gets one. Can he get a second on NBA? Still has a full out of HP. Pacific Makta puts in the hurt onto SGJ, entering into that situation. Two point lead. Do you know? With a very, I don't know, uh, very brave and very uh, big effort na ginawa nyo dun sa round na yun. Fortunately, not enough. Pacific Makta nagpa nagpapakita talaga kung ba't sila yung number one team as of right now. Flexing their muscles. Pillars, laban ulit dito. Both teams. Justin, first. ZYK, hey. next. Granada, tinapon. Utility. Now, forcing both teams to oh, back yo, away. B-Boy, at least nakahanap siya ng isa para sa kanyang team of SGJ, MBA. Mukhang gusto pang tumesting dito sa window area pero wala. Tumigil na. Slowed down na ang dalawang teams. Okay. So now, Pacific Makta really is going at it to the playstyle right now of SGJ. Mm. Nakita na natin yung adjustment na the download na ni PM, yung kailangan nilang kuning resources and now, they have finally read off and it's very, very effective now, R2G. Oh, okay, ZYK, I see you. Trying to be like the Revenge 2.0 in this one. Double sniper setup nga ang sinabi Can mo. Can he replicate though? This Let's is important. See. If he hits this, my God, the crowd will go crazy. It and high grounds will start to quake, my friend. Neto na. ZYK oh, no. just using the AWM. Like it's an AR! No. My God, ZYK! Stop this madness, Pacific Makta! Eh, nung umisa pa, tumesting ulit. Sige! Pakita mo, but SGJ is still not backing okay. down. Nice kill by LABL. That's now the sign, R2G. Pwedeng-pwede na pumasok si SGJ. Pero, teritoryo to ngayon ng Pacific Makta. 
they are not letting SGJ at least enter a single pixel inside of the bomb site. That's important. They still have the utils to work. Gusto nila mag rotate dito sa B site, no? Sa, well, A site rather. Pero alam ko, may nang iwan sila ng isa dyan galing sa side ng Pacific Mac. Tata, pangalan niya ang I, C Revenge. Yung Android na C Revenge. Now, ang tanong, will Revenge be able to uh, have the thought or maiisip ba niya na pwedeng manggaling ang team ng SGJ sa A-Long? Mukhang oo. Oh, oh. And now, he's holding both angles. Ngayon, pag nahanap nila yung timing, pag nahanap nila yung timing, SGJ can find the opening here. Kinutulot ang kanila and they have left no other option just to go in. But Aldrin! Stops every single bit of hope that SGJ had in mind to plant down the C4. Pacific Makta is striking where SGJ is scared of, and that's through their hearts. Now, yung sinasabi mo, yung style of mid-play. Gumagana na, ginagawa na nga nila. AIVL gets two, but he gets cancelled out by Justin. Finally, Pacific Makta came into their senses. They read it off revenge. Can he get two? Yobib cancels him down as well. But now SGJ, they turning it around. Or is Justin and ZYK make a miracle run in this situation that is given to them? Asa na ang util usage ng SGJ. They have to make it work. They have to cancel out PM in every specific angle. Now, this is very tough for Pacific Makta. But with Wait. experience, they can make it work. Justin gets one. It's now a 1v2. Oh, that was close. But SGJ makes it happen. SGJ, bumawi na din. Kel R, buti, buti na lang nahanap na yung trade-off na yan. Mukhang kayang-kaya pa yung Pacific Makta na yung panalunin yung round na yun. But with that being said, SGJ, they bite back. Now, Pillars control. Ulit, gustang gawin dito ng SGJ. Papasok na sila dito. Revenge holding off this angle. Oh! Now, who is Shani? KSA. The peripheral vision of the scope in was the punishment for Revenge. Hindi niya nakita. And he got what he deserved because mm -hmm. of the hard scope from the Revenge. Ngayon, SGJ, they finally saw the light of day. Ang liwanag. No more long-range opportunities for Pacific Bakta. That would give SGJ a lot mm. to think about. But they didn't know the potential of ZYK to be AWM. Ulit. So that's still a threat, siguro lingering in the heads of SGJ. But with that initial pickoff, it'll now come down to, I think, palag ko sinasabi, mid round calls. Ano gagawin dito ng SGJ? Mukang mag iwan sila dito ng dalawa or, mag, or ng isa dito sa pillars area. How, however, they do still have the C4 stuck there. Tatlo. Gustong pumunta sa A. Siguro, hanap na ng tamang impormasyon dyan sa A area. Pag walang tao, pag may isang tao ba, kung ano man mahanap nila, then that's obviously the site that they want to go to. Slowly, they are pushing up this A long side, making sure no angle is left unchecked. Tama lang, siguro making just a bit of noise. Does force rotations. Galing sa side ng Pacific Mac. Tatino ba naman, isa na lang ang naiwan dito sa B side. But... Ah, uh, isa ba? Dalawa? Feeling ko, ah, hindi, tama. Isa lang nga ang naiwan dyan sa B-side para sa side ng Pacific Makta. Okay. And now, the opening is there para sa team ng SGJ. Okay. Na Makta does have to have eyes on the back of their heads kasi kailangan na nila mag-ingat. Revenge is no longer in with them. So now, SGJ really sees this as every opportunity presented to them. This is literally the golden platter and the color way that they are looking for. It is now gold for SGJ as they have now came into their senses. Justin is now dummy while ZYK cannot be seen in C1. It's a 1v3 by MBA. He gets one, can he get two? Pero naabangan ka agad siya ni Yobib. The anticipation was there and it was good for SGJ as Pacific Makta inuunti-unti na ng SGJ. They are now now slowly knocking over to the door of PM saying it's now our land. B-Boy, pag tinuloy-tuloy mo yung gaganyang kagandling na entry, it will be absolutely fruitful for SDJ para si Revenge. Nag Siya naman na nakakuha ng first blood okay. dito sa round na yan. Ang nakikita ko talaga, no, whoever gets the first blood could spark in the plug that the team is looking for. Ngayon, wala na si NIBL. 
could that uh, could that mean good for Pacific Magta? May kita natin maya at maya din. Pero sa nakikita kanina talaga, SGJ can work around despite wow. the miscommunication and the lingering teammates na nawawala talaga. Ito na SGJ. It's looking like they they are on a revenge tour. Not letting Pacific Magta move in this certain situation. Ngayon, magkakatalpakan na talaga kung nasa ang location man si Aldrin at KSA. It's literally a standoff in the making. Aldrin just needs to poke out of the box. At right, least man. call in the location on where he is. And Pacific Magta could still win this out. Pero for SGJ, they really are controlling the site. Na parang sila dapat yung namumuno sa larong to. But Revenge. it's re a really struggle for a SGJ because Revenge and ZYK is just right over there. Every member of Pacific Makta has been efficient, but SGJ, their leniency and urgency is really right at the top right now. So, yeah. kailangan nila mag-ingat with 55 on the clock. Patience yung pinapakita dito ng SGJ. I love their mid-round calls. Very, very different sa pinapakita nila last time around. Very patient, making sure that they don't fumble in this mid-round three-on-three situation. May basa ba? Na na alam ba nila na nandito yung tatlong member ng Pacific Magta na go-hold? And they will now. Aldrin, nakahanap din ng isa. Oh and my God! Hard. Nakatatlo! Kadiri, that was absolutely disgusting, Aldrin. Disrespectful gameplay by Aldrin. What a ridiculous flick. Under... Good. 30% HP, that had to be like a bad turn for SGJ. Pillars ulit, pillars ulit, laban lang. Sinong una makahanap ng pitas dito, it's all gonna come down to disrespect the smoke, SGJ. Tingnan niyo ang mangyayari, Pacific Magta, i Jose Rizal kayo, kasi yan ang firing squad na binibigay nila sa'yo. Now, SGJ, talagang napitas na. And they no longer have the resources to work with. Yobib is down. The lone member that could have saved SGJ. But NIBL is picking up the slack. Revenge is now down. That's a good side for SGJ. It's looking like there is going to be a rotation coming in from SGJ. Pacific Makta has a three-member grouped up inside of compound. And now Justin takes down Sino. This is really nice for Pacific Makta so far. As they have now forced... NIVL up against the wall with no room to move around. PM just one hit away and Aldrin taps him into the head says good boy it's time to rest NIVL is down Pacific Makta switches in Tumasabi ko, at least three, the 6 3 scoreline, hindi siya katapusan ng mundo para sa team ng SGJ, no? They have the potential to take this back. Kasi alam naman natin dito, based on st statistics, glo uh, global resided tong mapang tong compound. So, if SGJ, kung nahahanap ba nila ang tamang depensa, it will be much easier for them. Now, Pacific Makta, how will they be able to read the setup of uh, SGJ here? They are going for a 2 1 2 setup. May sat dito nakabantay sa sa mid per dalawang nakabantay dito sa door pa, galing sa pillar holding it out okay. C4 mukhang gustong pumunta dito sa B area B pillar but dalawa nakabantay dito Tino oh. at sino ba yan si Tino tatlo na sila actually So now it's going to be a 3 on 3 Mexican standoff dito sa B and it, it, it's going it's going to be close damn kailangan naman naman ako sino una para na si Tino ang huli ka si YK SGJ to be testing na Justin babawi kagad one for one eto na tingnan mo sa oh my god MBA no one in the right mind would pick that god box now Yobib takes down MBA nagkakaalitan lang ng pangalan dito R2G as PM and SGJ has now faced a very familiar situation, mm. a 3v3 with the C4 on the line, waiting for that prime seconds to tick. Bago tayo magkaroon ng tanim ng C4. Now, SGJ, nakalusot they need na. to have a control of this site. Pacific Makta, nakalusot na. Nandyan na sila sa A site. Free. Niloko na. Walang tao na nakabantay. Kinornado ng Makta ang SGJ. Ang galing naman ni Insa na yan. Minekos, Minekos yung SGJ. Aldred gets two. Once again, cannot stop a single inch. Aldred, another 3K on the bag. Yan ang basa 
na ginawa ng Pacific Makta. Wala silang takot pumasok doon sa A-site. Parang alam nila na walang tao na nakabantay dyan. And sabi ni Alden, akin ka na lang. Pero this round, si Tino ang nanalo sa sniper fight between him and Revenge. Hat Nahulog na ang sniper ng Pacific Makta ngayon. Disrespectful Aldrin. Kailangan nga turuan ng leksyon. Nobody does Tam that to SGJ. Ay, but it happened. Madaming beses na actually na nangyari yan eh. It happened the first time. Pero na ulit. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice, pre. Kailangan ka na suntukin sa pagbumuka. Ito na. KLR gets traded out by Aldrin. Still 1-4-1. One one. But there is a favor towards SGJ entering into this mid matchup. Pacific Makta. Where is this gonna lead to? There is so much options for SGJ to wow. work around. Pero pinipitas na sila unti-unti via MBA. Now, this is the opportunity. What a pick by NIVL. Alam nila nila, may impormasyon na sila kung nasan hindi ang Pacific Makta. They know that they're not here in the B area. So, process of elimination siguro na sa A. At naiwan na lang dito si Tino na mag-isa. What, what a shot pick. by Tino! Eh, cancel na kaagad ni Justin. It's a 1v2. C4 still yet to be planted. But the seeds are now intact for Pacific Makta's clutch angle. Where is SGJ gonna entry? Okay, gusto nila sa may bandang likod. Pernan Now, and si this is very, very situational. Justin tried to take his chances. Sinasayawan lang yung pillars. He doesn't reach out. So is he just baiting in NIVL to force a 1v1 and then plant the C4? Or he's just going aggressive on it? Because NIBL is down to his last legs. 30 seconds left on the clock. It's Bumalik. a four-point lead by Pacific Makta. This would be good for them. But KSA says no. Kami naman na magsusulat ng aming kwento. SGJ crawling just so they could lead back the charge that they once had. Ganda sa ano ng idea na ginawa din ni Justin na mag-repick ulit dun, dun sa ilalim ng 2F. Pero unfortunately, basang-basa yun ni KSA. Ngayon, revenge. Naghanap muli ng labanan dito sa mid gamit ng kanyang sniper pero malalaman ba nila na agresibo na si NIVL nakapuesto na sa boxes mukhang oo oh, oh, Justin nakahanap kay NIVL dyan unang-unang dito sa maagang part ng round na to kung may bagay na pinakita itong laron to R2G if someone gets the first blood they usually go aggressive then they turn the tide of the game ngayon Pacific Makta they got NIVL but that's not the one that they were looking for mostly it would be Yobib and Tino but at least May nakuha sila pang palubag na lang lang talaga si NIBL in this situation. They have now forced at least one fruit out of the hand of the tree para at least hindi effective yung magiging setup ng SGJ patungo sa depensa na pwede nilang ipakita. Now Pacific Makta, what are the chances and what are the odds that they could possibly take down Tino to eve to anti up the odds? para talaga makuha nila yung site na gusto nila. Maganda ang ginawa dito ng Pacific Makta. Siguro nakakakuha sila ng information na may tao dyan sa B. And they are grouping here sa A into a potential. A split. Muntik pa makahanap oh, ng isang, pitas dyan si David. Isang okay. alikabok lang talaga. Tapos di pa pinagbigyan. Now, Keller. meanwhile, Keller gets a pick off and MBA trades it down. Yung oras. Inuunti-unti and revenge. Literally puts in his IGN into his into the tour that he's putting out. MBA KSA now battles it out with MBA scoring a headshot. Yo Bib in a familiar situation once again. Oh my God! Presan bagawa yung Kevlar mo. Krebenj gets gunned down, but Aldrin from the backside is gonna finish it off as Pacific Makta a strong four-point lead. B-Boy, may onting chance doon para ibalik yun para sa team ng SGJ para buti na ng Pacific Makta. Hindi nila pinalipas yun. Ano nga ang gawang Kevlar yata nun ni MBA? Napakalupit. Okay, sniper battle, mid-area. Wala pang nahanap a Window control, kinuha ng Pacific Makta. Very, very important coming out from these teams. Feeling ko sa side ng SGJ, if they don't try to find any, kahit pa paano, kahit unting ag aggression, especially dun sa B-Pillars area, they won't be able to get that information of the side of uh, of the side of SGJ. Pero Dino, may pangarap out. talaga, no? Oo, oh, eh. 
Pagpatuloy mo lang yan, magbubunga din yan lahat kaibigan. Sige, dyan ka lang, antayin mo si Latino. That would give so much opportunities for SDJ. Uh, Parang ganyan, di ba? Pero revenge. Parang ganyan, pero binawian ka agad ni Revenge. But all is worth it for SDJ. Kailangan na nilang kumilos para makahanap ng pambawi. At least make the death of Tino worth it. Tino ba naman ang deep na ng dalawang members ng Pacific Mac dito? MVA, nakalusot na. Palapit dito sa spawn ng SGJ. Baka pwede silang malason. Nito ni MBA. Tingnan mo ba naman saan siya nakapwesto. Oh, na. SGJ na umuna sa kilpid ngayon. Pero yung oras, tingnan natin kung magiging pabor ba to para sa SGJ. They really have the man advantage. It looks like Pacific Makta will be trying to force something. Ito na yung last ditch effort nila para mapunta sa kanila yung laro. But SGJ, they really have total control of this one. What? They cannot let Pacific Makta move. What? But Aldrin is now inside of the site. No one is looking at Aldrin. And there goes NIB. I'll take down ZY gets now a 1v2 and finally SGJ finishes off the retake as SGJ kuma grabe they're still crawling R2G Kumalabi. and now SGJ possibly the round that they wanted to even up the momentum lumalaban pa din 8 to 5 na ngayon ang scoreline SGJ Ramirez back pa now they are going to have to switch it up Pacific Makta mid area this is more aggressive coming out from them and SGJ kakasabi ko lang last oh. round mag aggressive sila sa pillars that is exactly what they do however Pacific Makta mukhang may information sila nandito ang mga miyembro ng SGJ what will they do with it mukhang gustong labanin to galing sa side ni ZYK pero mag-isa lang siya sa apat na miyembro oh ZYK hindi pa mapabor sa kanya si Oras ngayon because ZYK gets gunned down early that Pero was a big pick off though the response from Pacific Makta limang Ayan up na. up and the Tasamino the sniper matchup is now being controlled by Revenge now they need to set it up ganda ng sagot ng ginawa ng Pacific Makta are they gonna plant it oh my god early into this game they're gonna plant it down now time Revenge. is now ticking Oh, yeah. Revenge! Stop this man! Kel R takes him down finally! Pwede nang magpahinga ang SGJ. Makakatulog na sila ng payapa. Pero may trabaho pa silang kailangan tapusin dito. There's still three members alive for Pacific Makta. 24 seconds left on the clock. Still no signs of pushing for SGJ. This is now the last effort for them. Aldrin angles him down onto Kel R. Yobi, the last member standing. What is he gonna do? Ayan na, pumapasok na siya sa loob na side. Oh. He, hits the, he gets down Yobe, but there is no time left. Exit Bragsta ng to para sa SGJ. 2-1. Absolutely nothing for SGJ. Pacific Makta gets a match point. Yan masasabi ko. Revenge, napakatindi. And ang ganda ng response na ginawa ng Pacific Makta dyan. Nung nalaman nila na apat yung miyembro ng SGJ na kahold doon sa B-pillar, mabilisang sila pumunta sa A site. Mag-isa lang doon si Tino. Revenge, nanalo doon sa sniper fight. Pero kahit nahanap pa ng pitas doon si Tino, they know na mag-isa lang siya doon. So, if they ever bind the, the kill on him, the refrag will be much easier and it's still a great response galing doon sa side ng Pacific Makta. Mas nagurot ako sa side ng SGJ na they didn't switch it up instantly after the initial pickup na nangyari doon kay Tino. But now, it's back to do a different setup from SGJ. Tino needs to be activated, pre. There's still oh, oh. hope for SGJ. They really just need to work off the pickups, no? Pag nawala talaga si Revenge, and even Aldrin, that's a huge advantage entering into the mid game for SGJ. But they're just lining up all the utils in mid in hopes of what? catching on everyone. A very, very rare occurrence was a big blunder for SGJ as Tino gets outclassed one for one trade Pacific Makta now puts in more hurt onto SGJ as they have planted the C4 Tino that was a rare blunder from the sniper of SGJ Nothing. that was a huge huge mistake connect those shots pero the damage has been done eto na lang yung merong kailangan galawin si SGJ and there goes KSA with an entry he gets one he gets two Recover. ZYK is down this is possibly the retake angle coming in from SGJ 10 seconds left on the clock NBA gets two oh my god NBA but he gets cancelled out by Yobib and sabi ko sayo pre when they there is still hope for SGJ. They make it work. What a comeback and a retake from SGJ. Magandang recovery na ginawa ng SGJ. Especially coming out from that retake. Because of that missed 
arm shot na nakita natin galing doon kay Tino. Ayaw mo yun makita pag ikaw yung sniper player ng isang professional team. Buti na ibalik pa would, nila. Oh, buti na lang nabalik na sila or that will eat him up inside. But now, Tino, may chance pa pwedeng bumawi dito sa mapang to. As we see right now, iba naman ang setup na ginagawa ng SGJ para sa kanilang depensa. This time, tatlo ang nakuhold dito sa A area. Very heavily holding ni Tino dito sa mid side. As, I'm sorry, sa A long side. As dalawa lang ang nag-hold dito para sa B pillars. Mababasa ata to ng Pacific Mactay. They do have free reign dito sa pillars area. Pero makahanap ba sila ng pitas para makagawa ng opening dito sa mapang to. But I think a B pillar, a B, a B split might be the call here coming up for Pacific Mactay. As I say that, rotate sila. Lima na na sila na sa mid. Oh? Tingnan natin anong gagawin nila. But it's looking like Revenge is not having any of the memo that PM is uh, looking towards into the mid. Now, Kelar gets a warbang onto NBA. That is huge for SGJ. They have canceled out the pursuit of a pushing Pacific Makta. And there goes the challenge by Dino. Oh, he gets gunned down by Justin. ZYK also takes down Kelar. Now forces a 4v3. Meanwhile, NIBL from the backside. Wow. He's gonna get taken down by Aldrin. 59 left on the clock. It's a 2v2. One goes out 1-0. One and one goes out 9-7. to seven. Sino ang mas angat? Sino man ang egg? It's SGJ! They have struck gold. And they're two points away from forcing overtime. Okay, mahirap to. Eh. First to overtime. Pacific Makta, kailangan nila ito. It close. ASAP. Kung gusto nila, kunin nila ang kanilang map pick. SGJ, kumakagat. And it is a very, very hard bite na... Pinapakita nila Revenge holding out dito sa mid-area pero wala pa din sila mahanap. Slowing it down. Coming out from both of these teams. Ang sagot na, na naman is the information game. The pick-off game. Kung makahanap oh. dito si Tino, Tino holding off an angle that di niya ma-afford ma-miss. He needs to hit those pre. If SGJ really wants to send a message in this tournament, they have to complete this. But in order to do that, they need to have extra force because they are two points away from forcing overtime. That is a very stocked, a stacked odds for SGJ. Maganda. But for PM, they just really need to clean out all the mess that they once ha they, they all had. Oh, re oh, revenge. revenge gets spotted out. Oh. Pero di pa rin siya matinag. Nandoon pa rin siya. Si Nakuha Revenge. Oh, niya. Justin! KSA with that one, he gets two! It's looking like SGJ have finally Reborn! And it's looking like Pacific Makta bumabawi wow. din sila! They struck two, but Pacific Makta struck more when they got three! It's a 3v2, it's now a 1v3! Unti-unti na umaangat ang Pacific Makta! And uupo pa rin ang mga hari ng larong to as Pacific Makta! 1-0! 1-0 Pacific Makta absolutely taking it on their map pick! Which is a great start! for this team. However, second map as we go to this Black Widow side, SGJ kumakagat. Potential to take up the second map. And it's, it is it is an impressive play. Galing up Pacific Makta. Feeling ko sa side ng SGJ a bit too slow and their response is a bit too slow. They, they take a while uh, once they get information. Masyadong mabagal na onte. But if I feel like if they speed it up just a little bit, my potential pa sila makahanap din ng mga openings, especially kung sila ay nasa Black Widow side. But with that being said, Pacific Makta, kung may isang mali, they will take advantage of it. And with that being said, I just want to point out a player like Aldrin dun sa mapang yan. <laughs> im, 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 ibang klase Doing na janitorial duty, my friend. It, uh, but let's give props to SGJ. Eh. They just really had to work on the tempo and pacing of that game in order to put uh, Pacific Makta in a chokehold. Mm. Tama na yung formula. Tama na. The Tama execution na. was just a tad bit better a on bit the side of Pacific eh. Makta. A bit too late then. The reaction was right there. Very appropriate naman eh. Mm -mm. Tama. But, I, with that being said, uh, SGJ, kung nahanap nila yung mga maliliit na, mal na mali. Yeah. Kasi napakaliit lang naman yung ginagawa nilang mali dito sa, sa first map natin. Kung nahanap nila yung mga maliliit na mali na yun at tamang timing lang sila, map 2 can very much come back to their way. However, this is Black Widow. This is mapa ng Pinas. And if there is this team, they want their best to equalize the numbers with this map. Because totoo lang, in this map, anyone can take it. 
But however, if Tino does not show up, yung sniper player galing side ng SGJ, in trouble sila. Kasi, if you, can, if you need to win sniper battles in a map like Black Widow, Black yeah. Widow, snipe, it's a sniper map. So, totoo lang eh. Kasi, you have A-Long, you have, you have, you have the middle, you have even double doors. Double doors. You have double doors, man. And this is not the prime spot for Tino and Revenge to yeah. actually tear one another, man. Tama. And, uh, and from what we saw, Tino was not Tino got really the, activated just yeah. yet. Yeah. And ito na yung tour na kailangan ni, uh, ni Tino to just put uh, put an end into the debate on who is indeed the better sniper. It's still on to the narrative that Revenge is indeed, but Tino could make up for uh, for everything that is being told on who is the best sniper. Yep. Nakita kita tayo ng at least a glimpse on what Tino can offer for SDJ. Mm. Just needs to work on the consistency and the angles that he needs to pick off. Revenge had the most upstart of every sniper we have seen into this tournament when it comes to Jeez. reading off those off angles and especially to those crucial spots na pwedeng pasukan kaagad ng isang global risk-minded team much like SGJ on that end. So now the question is still right there. Oh my can God. Be, can Revenge be shut down on a map like Black Widow? Nakita natin nung day three of group stages, it was a very unstoppable for Revenge Whoa. to play on a map like Black Widow. But now, SGJ could change that narrative. Maybe they have a set strategy. Maybe baka may mga plays na nakita natin sa kanila na napaka, you know, na magugulat tayo. So that's something that I will be interested to see coming up in this Black Widow side. Uh, sorry, this Black Widow map. Pero, uh, so totoo lang, kung hindi pa na-activate, totoo lang, hindi pa na-activate si Tino dito, it's gonna be really difficult for the yeah. side of SGJ. Malapit eh. Siguro pag activate na si, SG, si Tino dun sa side ng SGJ, dito sa map 1 natin of Compound, it would have been a different story. There are some very big whiffs na nangyari dun sa map ang yun. Uh, uh, and that unfortunately costs uh, SGJ, SGJ some of these rounds and with that being said uh, there were just needs it. really needs crucial there were just really crucial mistakes that mm. SGJ had kung iwaway mo siya kay Pacific Macta I really thought that Pacific Macta had more mistakes they just got the better stick in the situation mm. because Aldrin was in the right place at the right time Aldrin. Justin was getting the pickups and they got off lucky but for SGJ I think their mistakes are much more tolerable tas nagagawan pa nila ng paraan even when there is a uh, a bad matter that could possibly derail their chances of winning the round. And that's Tino's consistency and the carry potential of NIBL. Tama. Hindi natin nakikita ganun kabigat or ganun ka-impactful compared to Justin and Aldrin. That's why they got the round. And I'm looking at a much more uh, bigger resurgence from SGJ to tie it off or read the game style of Pacific Macta in a sense that finally, pwede na nilang tapatan. There is, there is that, I don't know, there is that thought, no? At least this second map coming up into the Black Widow side. Uh, whoever starts off here, Global Risk or Blacklist, whoever starts off here, Blacklist early, might have just a bit of an advantage to just set the pace early on. But especially, statistically, Black Widow is more of like a, a Blacklist-sided map. But I, I really, really want, I really want to see maybe uh, an answer, no? To not just Revenge, but to... Uh, to to Aldrin's paggugul at the place because uh, you you said yeah yeah a bit more mistakes coming out from their side but someone like Aldrin who can just pick up the pieces sabi nila oy teka lang ako bahala dito getting triple kills na napakalala if they find a way to like shut that down early or kung hindi lang sila mabigla kay Aldrin sa mga plays na yun kasi he's done that play multiple times na uh, akala mo walang tao dyan biglang boom dyan pala si Aldrin surprise tri triple kill to just close out the round then that's something that's then if, if pang nagugulat sila dyan that's something that's bad for SGJ so if it's if compound is a much more lenient map mm. on a very long angle sort of a sort of a architecture ngayong Black Widow naman nga naman talaga eh sa sobrang scattered ng playstyle every member of both teams could be anywhere around the map and yeah. make a play of their own Hmm. That's the difficulty of Black Widow. Or the risk factor is uh, when any member goes in at, at outside uh, of the lobbies of both bomb sites, don't tayo nagkakaroon ng multi kill potentials, which could derail both teams' uh, chances in getting a specific objective. So is SGJ gonna rely on their individual playstyle, 
or are they gonna try and mix things up and go for group pushes knowing that they are indeed the global risk? Feeling ko may strategy tong SDJ pagdating dito sa Black Widow. Eh. There's a reason why they picked this map. And knowing their coach, alam ko usually sinasabi niya, we have to take Black Widow anytime you can against a big team. Kasi ito yung mga mapa ng Pinas. Eh. He, he heavily relies it on these map picks. Sabi niya, Black Widow, mapa to ng Pinas, dapat hindi niya to palipas against a team like Pacific Macta. Kasi yeah, meron din yung Pacific Macta sa Black Widow. Pero tayo din, kaya na natin ano, i, 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 i equalize sa mapang ganito. Kasi everyone plays this map. Everyone knows this map. And with that being said, maybe the knowledge or more strats na papakita na ng SDJ dito will throw it down. Pero Makta pala ang uuna dito sa blacklist side. So they have the potential to show us more strategies and to show off more plays. So SDJ is going to rely just a bit more on the reactive type of play as opposed to the strategic play which I expected SDJ to bring out dito sa map 2 na to. So Pacific Mac has a little bit of advantage yeah. pumunta dito sa first half natin. So in turn, just to sum it all up, SGJ needs to surprise us because with Pacific Mactas game style, alam na natin kung paano siya umiikot. But SGJ really needs to surprise not just us but Pacific Mactas in overturning all of the events that Pacific Mactas will throw. Ngayon, that's the very hard part. It's the execution. Yeah. Because we are still yet to see NIBL and Tino I know we are putting so much pressure Tino. on those two members, but it just shouldn't be Yobe putting in all of the work and all of the jobs mm -hmm. for SGJ. Kasi. And we're looking at a very possible comeback angle once those formulas are now being implemented into the system of NIVL and Tino. Because yeah. it's not just Aldrin. There's, just, there's literally five of them that excels in a macro sort of perspective. You could argue that it's a uh, 5v5 game, but somehow, some way, SGJ is making it work on the back of Yobib. Ay. Who can tell you na isang tao lang yung responsable kung bakit sila umabot ng grand finals? B-Boy, absolutely. Y tama nga, you can build a, re a team uh, I don't know, around B-Boy kasi napaka lakas niyang player, napaka lala, napaka tinde. So, uh, B-Boy continues to do what he does. There's, there is that potential, but once again, nga, um, Makta, at least in the blacklist, they'll show off the strategies. They'll be the ones to show off the, the pacing early on. And uh, again, snipers. B-Boy can switch to the sniper if ever, because uh, this is a very sniper heavy map. They can go for a double sniper type of setup. I've seen B-Boy do it. I've seen B-Boy play that sniper player. So, feeling ko may potential para gawin tong si Tino at si B-Boy na mag-double sniper especially since nagsisimula sila din sa global risk side and well yeah, that's something that we have to see lahat to theoretical pero yeah with that being said papasok na tayo finally pre oh, black tapos na Widow ang freeze time it's now inside of Black Widow okay now it's still the same setup for Pacific Macta the ones that we are accustomed to so now this is SGJ a, a possible resurgence for them. Talagang kailangan na nila eh. They need to come back after a very decimating loss over Pacific Makta in that map number one. And that was really close. Ah. That was really close. Can we see a possible Metacore performance or are we going at a back and forth? Like 2-2 two, two scoreline possibly. SJ still fighting and oh, wow. KSA is right there at the right time. But Justin just overwhelmed KSA with the amount of bullets put into his body. Now, it's looking like SGJ cannot enter the nightclub of Pacific Makta. Kailangan nila naman maglabas ng valid ID dito because they could not just enter this without any prime notice. 26 on the clock. It's ticking in favor of Pacific Makta. Wala pa rin nagko-close out para kay SGJ. Where is the pick off? 1 for 1. Make it a 2 for 1 as GYK controls the push from SGJ and what? NIBL. Oh my! He's making it work, but 8 seconds left on the clock. The that bomb is now being defused, eh? and what a play by SGJ! I thought the backstab that he did ZYK there, coming from the double door, that's what it is for the side of Pacific Macta. But no, they still have the entry, even though they are so pressured. Yeah. So amazing so, teams there. That was a SGJ. nice connection from SGJ. 
Ngayon, nakikita na natin yung individual macro talaga nila. The trust fund put into the bank of SGJ was so good na kahit open space pa, yun ang de-defuse ng C4, he got the security insurance that he wanted. That was a good one for SGJ. Yeah. That was just a glimpse of hope. Hindi pa siya buo pre. We need to see a more consistent SGJ on those 1v1s. Gumagana naman and at least Pacific Makta, they were exposed on a very aggressive playstyle. So now PM will turn things around. Mm -mm. Back to the passive playstyle coming out dito sa side ng Pacific Makta. Makita natin yung crossfire setup na ginagawa ng SGJ sa A long side. Dalawa ang nakahold dito si KSA. First point of contact with the trap. Si B-Boy, dangerous, dangerous setup. Oh, Especially Justin. Na malaman mo ang pangalan ni B-Boy. Masyadong malalim yung braso ni Justin para doon. And Aldrin takes down Yobi. Meanwhile, Pacific Makta is on a tear right now. As SDJ, they really wanted to have more casualties on their arsenal. But they got at oh, least no. two. So they have to work around on what they have right now. So Kel Arentino needs to be careful. They need to wait before ZYK and Revenge is no longer on a very attentive Kel side. Kel are anticipated, but he got nothing. What a ridiculous shot by Revenge. Tinapos ang paharap ng SGJ. They tied the game. Hindi ata siya nakascope nun si Revenge. Paano niya nagawa yan? Ang lupet talaga na ito. That's Makta, my man. That's, that's Makta, that's indeed, Makta. pare. Pero, my goodness, but if... Pacific Makta with an with a def, with a defiant answer. Dito sa first half natin. Uh, I'm just absolutely surprised by that shot to be honest. B lobby, gusto ng paglabanan ng Pacific Makta dalawa nagho-hold ng angulo dito ng ganung side ng SGJ. Oh, hal holding it out. B boy then. And si MBA unang papasok. Oh, MBA El Cero Miedo kumuha ng dalawa, walang katakot-takot. But Kelar gets the lucky wall bang. And NBA gets gunned down. Now Aldrin trades him. Once again, Pacific Makta with an early plan to cement the situation under the radar. The burst. Now SGJ. Oh, NIBL versus Aldrin. And I need NIBL wins that. But Revenge was just quick. Para makabawi kagad. Tino 1v3. Mm. Very, very. Hard situation for Tino, under 50% 50, 50 HP. Can he get a miracle call at versus Ten Revenge and ZYK? Though. Eight seconds, no more room to work Wala with. Na Wala na oras para kay Tino. Revenge gets a 3K in that round. And Pacific Makta looking like a very formidable team. But SGJ, ooh, they were that really close, man. They were that really close. Maganda ang change na ginawa dito ng Pacific Makta. Nakita natin dito si Revenge, hindi na nga naka-sniper, no? Naka AK na po siya ngayon dahil sabi na nila rat rata ng labanan natin ngayon kasi nakaharap na first blood pero Rumes back then ang Pacific Makta kahit pa paano MPA getting the third kill for their team two on three situation buhay pa din si Justin pero isang ubo na lang ang kanyang life C4 na iwan dito sa doors ng A okay. area pero oh. Tino holding okay this is a good flank though. Pero, Pero si Santo Dadalin. The ZYK. Saka matayan kasi Tino was just on the right place. ZYK. Now 6 speed under. SGJ 2v1. This change by MBA. Rotate na sila sa B area. Hindi to mababasa ng SGJ. So he will be able to get the bomb plant at least. Pero it's still the numbers advantage by the side ng SGJ. How will MBA play this? His reposition needs to be perfect. Okay, Going in. Okay, so MVA, uh, very, very tough spot for him. Planting but na. there goes the bait. This is a C4 plant. Can MVA read off or where Tino and NIBL is gonna entry? Nagtawag na ng util ang SGJ just so they could ensure every opportunity. Ayun, okay. 25 left on the clock. MVA actually can uh, react on two spaces at once, one on lobby, Di but they have lang. went on to double doors. The shots were not hitting. MDA a crucial mistake, and SGJ capitalizes. Oh, unfortunate. unfortunate. Grab it. Uh, MBA, maganda sana ang timing na nakuha niya dyan kung nahanap niya yung unang kill, turning it into a 1v1. Yun, napaka-lupit na yun. Napaka-tindi na yun, pero 
Ewan ko ba nangyari? Siguro nerves kay Monte, but a bit of a RNG there. Pero nice try pa din galing side ng Pacific Makta. SGJ at least nakahanap siya ng bawe. Keeping this game competitive. Granada, natapon kay ZYK. Onting damage, pero not enough to kill him out. Slowing it down the pace ulit dito galing side ng Pacific Mahakta B lobby. Bukas na bukas pwede nilang pasukan to. Pero next hold is KSA. I really like the defense of PM. They both have double doors and woods defended mm. in which Pacific Mahakta really wanted to go out para makapunta sa may bandang long A. Now, this is nice for STJ. That means they finally read off Pacific Mahakta or at least just this round. Pacific Makta could still rotate underwater, then go from B, force a plant, then outwit the flankers, or I mean, uh, outwit the the ones that are guarding down the spot. Or can SGJ stay in a consistent manner? Tapos yun pa yung gawing playstyle ni PM. Rely on those double doors, tas makakot up sila, and that's the recipe for SGJ to possibly win. And they have listened. They want to go to lobby, pero hindi sa isa na sila ni KSA, but all they take them down. Ooh. Oh, SGJ, tread carefully. You Burn. might go deep into enemy territory, no, but you are not welcome into the domain of PM. 35 on the clock. PM saw the daylight and they struck gold with it, literally. Natanim na ang C4. SGJ, what's the retake situation? What's the retake play style? Are they gonna go for a 1? For a 1-2-2, uh, two, two probably? Aldrin, once again! It's putting on a show right now for everybody here live at high grounds. And IBL takes down ZYK. 1v3, Justin finishes it off. Pacific Makta on the back of Aldrin. They got the round. I, I, sa toto lang maganda yung ginagawa nilang slow retake ng ginagawa ng SGJ. Pero nabasa na yun ni Aldrin. Sabi niya, kung mabagal kayo mag retake, gugulatin ko kayo. Justin, nakahanap ng isa. KSA, nahulog. Sniper, next stop. B-Boy, nakahanap ng trade, and Woo! takas pa siya, takas pa. I can't believe, nakatakas pa siya. Revenge, at least nakahanap kay NBL dun sa kabilang parta ng mapa. As the options of Pacific Makta is now open to the A site. Rotating na, papunta na sa dito sa A-Long. Wala pang member ng SGJ naka-hold out dyan sa angle na yan. So it's going to be a very difficult, difficult hold. Keller, puesto, mahirap. Hagdanan, just playing for the pick. Pixel lang ang kailangan makita ni Revenge as the sniper shot hits. Tino, nakabawe. Aldrin, inside sight. Kasama ni Revenge. Yung dalawang Terminator oh. holding it off. Tino na lang ang naiyuan dito in a 1v2 situation. Pero gun down ni Aldrin. Giving another lead dito sa side ng Pacific Makta. 4-2. SGJ not winning those crucial 1v1s. Talagang iniisa-isa sila ni Pacific Makta. And I think that is what uh, the Blacklist are forcing in this situation. They want to separate SGJ into a field where no one could possibly apply reinforcements na mabilis kagad na makakapag-rotate si SGJ. Now the one we wants are being won by Pacific Makta. But SGJ, their group up push for a possible retake is also effective. And SGJ din nila lang kung sila lulugar because Pacific Makta is forcing a playstyle in which they cannot be grouped up. Keller, agresibo dito on to sa woods. Pero si Revenge! Oh, Revenge! Kahit, My God! Kahit malapitan. Stop this! Madness, nagmumukhang XM10 yung AWM sa'yo. Ito na kapasok ng Makta by SGJ is striking much more against Makta. A very angry SGJ. Doesn't want to back down. Revenge, another pick off. But SGJ backs it up with a word up against Pacific Makta. My God, a one point lead. Na lang meron si PM. SGJ knocking on to the door. Mm -hmm. SGJ nagagalit na. Slow, just at least able to find for the recovery of Revenge's amazing shots. Grab it talaga to see Revenge. He still a very dangerous uh, enemy to have stumbled upon. So SGJ needing to respect the possibility of revenge holding out any angles. A area. Mukang agresibong pinupush ng SGJ at naparusahan sila ni revenge. Nakahanap siya ng isa. KSA regrets to pick that 
angle that aggressively. Masyadong agresibo daw, sabi ni Revenge. Now, the slowed and control push na gagawin dito ng Pacific Macta, gusto nila ibigay. B-lobby, open. Now, it's just gonna come down to one person si NIVL. Siya na ang pupuesta dito sa B area. Siya na ang depensa para sa team ng SGJ. Papasok na ang mga members ng Pacific Macta. Nice coverage from NIVL. Pero yun na-anticipate ng PM as they're trying to force a wall bank. Justin moves! Really sneakily. Now NIBL gets exposed of his location. SGJ. Where is the where is the reinforcements? Where is the resurgence? Another successful plant once again by Pacific Makta. Aldrin takes down Kelar forces. A very, very tough situation for SGJ. Yobib is down. It's now once again to Tino to save it for SGJ. And Justin closes it out. Pacific Makta 5-3. SGJ need to win this round kung gusto nila comfortable sila dito sa side switch 5 to 4 is not the end of the world di, di pa yung tap tapos na ng mundo however a 6 to 3 baka umulit lang tayo sa map 1 kasi yun yun yung ending of the half score so kailangan nila pananunan tong round na to SGJ holding out dalawang nakahold dito sa B lobby mukhang tatlo sa members ng Pacific Macta gusto pumasok no contestion just yet naka smoke out po yan so it will delay the push out as Pacific Macta slowly but surely trying to just find any openings here sa B lobby wala silang mahanap nakuhod na din dito si Tino sa B short area sa woods pero wala din siyang nahanap revenge in mid not gonna find anyone as well so but it's a back to this Mexican standoff type yeah. of play let me just point out Reno, we're alive at the Facebook page and we are peaking at 740 viewers a very monstrous support from the Filipino community of CFPH. Pinagkakaisa talaga tayo ng crossbar. Parang laban lang ni Pacquiao pag merong Makta at SGD na naglalaban sa Grand Finals. But let's now shift our attention to Black Widow as it's very hostile right now as Makta is looking at a possible push angle. But SGJ really has the security. So it'll come down to Tino. This is really good. Tino hit those shots. Uh, both snipers misses them. Now the, here comes the reach out. ZYK takes down Kelar. A very aggressive no, no, Justin no, no. goes in. And IBL punishes him with a 2K. 50 seconds left on the clock. What a very nice peek by KSA. Now SGJ is there looking at an advantage right now. Revenge gets a kill. But he gets traded down by NIBL. 2v1. Where is Aldrin? Where is Aldrin when you need him? It's Aldrin time. He gets one. Can he get a second? Oh, and IBL saves it for SGJ. And now we head on to side switch. Aldrin, absolutely amazing. P but, uh, muntik na, uh, muntik muntik na, na. Man. That was really a good positioning from Aldrin. Pero but NIBL. SGJ, okay. my, that peak, that jiggle peak, man, was very crazy. Yeah, so... Uh, Pacific Makta leading at least dito ng isa lang. Kaya isa lang ang kanilang agwat dito. So, SGJ potential to come it back. Ito yung sinasabi ko. They need to play reactive dito sa first half. Pero ngayon na sila ay nasa blacklist side. Pwede na sila gamitin yung mga strategies na iniisip nila or may mga siguro, I wanna call it siguro parang cheese, keso ba? Para, at least nakikita ko na pre na when you said reactive, I really saw right now where SGJ is taking notes from in becoming very proactive. I see ZYK sneaking every uh, corner and every crevice of, uh, of uh, B-Site. Mm. And now SGJ saw that as a very adaptive place that they can do it. Now KelR and especially NIVL is reading off of that play style, tapos gumagana na. They're taking their time and it's very efficient. So that's why SGJ was able to at least ease out the lead to at least one heading into the side switch but the job is still not done palagi kong sinasabi we are just seeing a start it's not just the whole iceberg pre isang bloke ng yelo pa lang yung pinapakita ng SGJ uh -huh. they still need to make it grow well dito sa mga side ng SGJ I've, I've said it before I'll say it again if they have some kind of strategy na pinaplano nila na matagalan against Pacific Macta sa buong uh, gabi buong gabi sila nagplano ng isang parang buong strategy dito sa Black Widow sa ma ng mapang to galing sa Blacklist site. Ipalabas na nila 
dito sa ano sa side na to cuz this is this is their side. It's going to be a blacklist side. If they bring out this in blacklist, they have more opportunities to bring out a strategy, some kind of cheese, kung ano ba naman yung pinaplan nila. Basta ilabas lang nila at kung nalabas nila dito sa ano sa side na to, I I think pwede na mabigla ang Pacific Makta, no? Not gonna expect it. Something they've never seen before. A wild card type of play. That's what I'm expecting. Dito sa second half na natin. Okay. Now, Makta gonna have to transition into a defensive play style or are they gonna abuse the control of long A? That's a very good question. SGJ, mukhang gusto nila pumunta dito sa A long, no? Holding it down, making sure. No way. No way Aldrin is doing this. No way. Aldrin is just one member. He just went after Woods. Lalabas na siya sa may bandang mid. No absolute way. He pulls this off. No, no, no. As Oh, he's not even going deep. He yeah. just really wants the Woods coverage. Yes, he does. As apat ng miyembro ng SGJ na nandito na sa A-long area. Slowly lurking, smoking out. Jaan, pero pwede pa tumagos ang mga bala mo sa smoke. Flashbang, tinapon. Doubling it down, nakapasok na ang mga miyembro ng SGJ dito sa A side. Aldrin though, parang isang tore, pero si B-Boy din, tore din siya. Nakahanap din ng dalawa as NIBL oh. with the backstab, with the lurk, finding that opening for the team of SGJ. They need to be able to plant the bomb here so the retake situation for Pacific Makta will be in full effect. Pero gusto, na, gusto nila i-clear yung site ng todong todo before they commit and there it is the 2 on 2 retake situation now Pacific Mata will now be going in with no remorse for human life ito na talaga yung option na kailangan nilang gawin it's to just push and don't look back MBA with the full load of HP could possibly clutch this but SGJ does have the numbers advantage he goes in for the bait defuse Time there goes in. the entry he gets one but MBA he's dangerously low though after that altercation with Kel R oh nice pick off by Yobib Calmado. Gets a kill on to MBA and SGJ. They were not nervous. The nerves did not get the best of them. Mm -mm. Finally, SGJ ties it off. Yes, the play, that time playing perfectly with the numbers. Di, ni, di alam. A di alam ng Pacific Makta kung nasan si B-Boy ng situation na yan. And B-Boy just playing it to absolute perfection. Revenge. First blood. Kellar. Natanggal na dito sa round na to. Natanggal sa server. Natanggal sa mapa. A winning that sniper battle. So magita natin dito sa side ng SGJ. It actually is a sniper, double sniper setup ng pinapakita ng SGJ, which is a bit odd. Galing side ng blacklist side. Pero this is what I've been saying, no? The surprising, the surprise plays ng gagawin ng SGJ. They are bringing it out here right now, and this is a double sniper setup coming out from them. Unfortunately, did not play out play out the way they wanted. Tino though still holding it down, mm -hmm. and dito sa A long. Maybe he'll find an opening for the side of SGJ. Okay, so now Pacific Mata is back to their uh, passive roots, uh -oh. not letting every single member just go deep into the map. Tapos mapi pick up sila, but the pick off was good to at least let Pacific oh. Mata that they have the intel and the revenge just swoots them over. Para hindi sila luminya sa sniper ni Revenge Aldrin. Oh, nice pick up onto KSA though. But he's now deep into enemy territory once again. Aldrin has the security of both woods mm. and mid. Tino. Oh, revenge, Tino! What a nice pick off. Bumawi Pagpatuloy na. mo lang yan, Tino. And you could help SGJ alleviate all the pressure. 50 seconds. Now, Makta. They still have the numbers advantage. They're crawling into the territory of where Tino is. There goes Tino. Masyadong malalim for a sniper, my friend. And IBL takes down Aldrin. Alam na. 3v2. Alam na ata ng SGJ kung nasaan sila but they're still not closing onto the location. Pacific Makta is playing around the time right what? now. SGJ, where are they gonna rotate? It's they're gonna force, fake. they're gonna go for, uh, they're gonna go force long A. It's a pump fake. Inakala ng Pacific Makta pupunta sila sa B pero pump fake pala. Pupunta na sila dito sa A long. Pero, 18. nabasa yung Pacific Makta. Look at the time. Na Look at the time. Justin is right there. Para depensahan na. And NBA will be also going to add more firepower. There goes Yopim. One for one. It's now a 1v2. But there's no more time Three for SCJ to work around. NBA closes it out as PM gets 
it done for P. Ang, gan ang ganda sana ng mid round call ng ginawa ng SGJ dun, no? Double pump fake to Pacific Macta para hindi nila akalanin na dyan pala sila pupunta sa B area. But I don't know how Pacific Macta knew, but somehow they knew it was a pump fake. And they did not fall for it. Sabi nila, eh, oo, oh, oh, yeah, potentially pumunta yun dyan sa B. Pero dito lang kami sa A, di kami gagalaw. So, and that's an incredible play na ginawa ng SGJ dun sa sitwasyon na yan. Revenge. Sniper holding Dita sa mid. Trying to find for the first pick out and Tino getting the C4 as safely as he possibly can. Siya naman ang mag ng sniper dito pero mag-isa lang siya this time around. Smoke tinatapon dito sa B area. Not finding for the right people but the grenade should stop the fast push na gustong gawin dito ng SGJ and it delays it a bit. Flashbang. Nandapon na. Papasok na. SGJ. Here they come. Boom. Oh, Bulaga MBA. And there goes another one for ZYK. Justin also gets a one piece. It's getting thrifty for Pacific Makta. As one gets a share of the piece of the pie. And IBL and Tino taking an armada, an armada of beauties into their faces. But it's looking like Pacific Makta has a whole place on lockdown. Walang mga kapasok na SGJ basta basta dito. When you have Justin on the God Box and both Revenge and Justin has won coverage of both windows. It's just a very, very prominent and a poetic way to not let SGJ go in. They could have just entry their way into a kill onto those two members. But no, they are playing playground into that one. Pero si Revenge. Gusto na talaga tapusin. They seek out Tino. And the next victim of the Pacific Makta performance is NIBL. Showing us who is truly reigning over the dynasty. Splash grenade na tapo na dito sa mid-area. Now the mid-control. Aggressive. Galing sa side ng Pacific Makta. Tino mo ba naman kung nasan sila? Sa bridge. Sa kanilang, sa kanila. Sa woods. It is written with Pacific Makta. Makta in their names holding it out tingnan mo ba naman kung nasan si Justin napaka deep napaka lalim na pwede yung pwede siya makahanap ng lason dito and it's dangerous kung ikaw ang sasay ng SGJ malalaman ba ng SGJ na nandito na sila nalalaman ba nila nandito si Justin sa pwestong yan mahirap I don't think they're aware at all Justin with an absolute control kahit information, kahit footsteps lang ang marinig niya, okay na yan, alam niya <laughs> no kung nasan. No absolute way this works. No absolute way Justin makes this work. He's just there. Isang overstep lang talaga ni NIBL. Di na alam ng SGJ. Justin is still there and he hears the footsteps. Is he that why PM is on the long A? Tapos pag nakita nila nag-rotate na yung SGJ, Justin will go Huli in for ka. the flag. Huli si Kel R. Who's next? There goes CYK from the side. He gets KSA. Next will be Obeb. What a 2K ravage. Lahat ng miyembro ng Makta gumagalaw. Iniisa-isa. Gusto nang tapusin ang Makta. But SCJ not backing down. Not just yet. Makta pouring in more hurt onto SCJ. Alam mo yung parang domino effect na ginawa ni Justin dyan? Since Justin nakahold lang doon, since nakakuha niya yung unang pitas doon sa round na yan, patuloy-tuloy na din ang mamatay yung ibang miyembro ng SGJ doon sa sitwasyon na yan. Napakalala. And I can't absolutely believe that he got away with a play like that. Justin with an aggressive pick out and that's something you don't expect in a round like that. And now, SDJ, the response this time around is oh, a B-Rush. But Revenge holding an AK this time. Hindi siya naka-AWM, pare ko eh. Gusto talaga makipagsapalaran ni Revenge, no? Oh, Grabe oh. nga naman yung adjustment niya. Kanya na lang AWM. It's time to join the boys in their pursuit of gold. Now, PM leading in the charge. But SDJ, their defense is really nicely done. But it's looking like PM is backing it up with words and bullets to the bodies. 1v2, Tino just 1 HP away from death. But Aldrin, a familiar situation from him. What a godly shot by Tino. Stopping the clutch angle as they see the daylight. SGJ gets a revenge round. Lumalaban na SGJ team. Nagahanap ng tagos dyan sa mid pero wala ang 
nakuha para sa team ng SGJ. Ngayon, agresibo na naman ang Pacific Makta sa ilalim ng bridge. Ang nakapuesto. So now they have the information na walang tao dito galing sa B area. So they have to be aware na Woods push ang gagawin ng SGJ dito. Pero si Aldo na ang mag-hold. Mahanap ba niya yung timing para makahanap dyan? Flashbang, tinapon, delays the push. Aldrin, reposition with revenge. As revenge is the one, the first one. The fine for the pick. Woo! Eh, umisa pa. May luminya ba si KLR? Oh, susunod si KLR. But KLR will not be re-challenging. There goes Yobe with the shots. Uh, and finally, they take down the revenge. ZYK din, nahuli ni Ke KLR nung... Gusto niyang mag-cross papunta sa A. Hindi maganda yung pag-retial ni Revenge doon. Kaya siya na-expose. He would have gotten one more oh, before oh, oh, Yobib oh. takes him down. MBA, I don't know if that's a really reliable gunfight. There goes Justin. A long-range action here. Coming in from Pacific Makta. And SGJ making it work right now. Forces 1v3 MBA. It's all boiling down to him. And NIBL. Wow. Knocking on the door of MBA as he lets him in. NIBL saves it for SGJ. One point na lang ulit Galit. ang labang ng Makta. Nagalit yung SGJ ngayon this time around. This time, they are going for these fast, aggressive pushes. Pacific Makta having no answer. Pero this time around, it could be revenge. Yun yung sagot nila sa tanong Babawi na, na Babawi na nga ba si Revenge? No! Kelar is gonna stop him down. Huge, huge pick off by SGJ. Who's next on the radar of SGJ? Rotate. As they really have the control right now of this game. Rotation. Gusto ata gawin dito na side ng SGJ. They are making noise dito sa A long side. But they stopped straight in their tracks. Siguro gusto nila ulit to i-pump fake. Pero once again, Pacific Makta. Hindi sila, ma, hindi sila makakala dito. Alam nila eh. Alam, alam na alam nila, they're still holding it out. No one is giving an inch. No one's over-rotating. Aldrin still holding this angle along with Justin. Flashback oh. will now Naka be thrown. Para pukuha ng pencho ng SGJ. But Aldrin is gonna give them the prize. But NIBL shuts him down. Now it's a 3v2. PM is slowly crawling. But SGJ is just waltzing into bombsite A like there is no enemies present in this one. ZYK, nice flank. Nicely done by Pacific Makta. Ito na SGJ relying on just Yobib. Can he make it work? And Pacific Makta match point on to SGJ. A very bad situation currently for SGJ. But they have to make it work. There's still so much that can be done here, R2G. Two points to force an overtime. Solid gold. Jewelry. Gaming. Needs to show up. They can't allow Pacific Mac to take their to take in to take this map pick that they have chosen. Rotating out deep inside the SGJ trying to find for the opening pick off. Magita natin dito si Kel R. Naglurk lang dito sa mid doors sa gahanap ng tamang pitas lang pero holding out. The angle is Aldrin, ang Terminator. Naka double up dito si MBA at si Justin. Pero sang flashbang lang sila ay mauhulog. Tino gamit ng AWM. Nagahanap ng tamang pitas dyan sa, mid, sa B window. Pero ayan na nga, flash grenade will trigger the entry and it should be an easy entry for them off the flash. Pero hindi, MBA holding it out. KSA finding an opening. Galing dyan sa mid doors. But B is still Makta territory. Makta cannot be stopped. Literally, despite the numbers in that bomb site alone, Pacific Makta is still standing tall. 1v2. Kel R can still make it work. Oh, what is the situation right here? Makta! But Triumphs over SGJ in match number two. Championship point. Championship point indeed. And with this scoreline, 0-2, zero, zero to two, they might just get kicked out of this tournament if they lose the next map. So with that being said, uh, SGJ need to somehow find this back. But I'm feeling it's hard. Where? Considering. Saan dapat kukuha ng lakas ng SGJ? I think they have no, uh, they have no known game plans right now at least to my expense because literally they did everything did. on that black widow map 
that could possibly still be read by Pacific Makta heading into map number three. In fairness, how do you fight a person like Alder, who I think have been so consistent? That's why he leads the charge, man. That's why he's the highest KDA. My he's goodness. doing this stuff, man. Terminator, ta Terminator, talaga. With that being said, I think SGJ might have had the biggest chance in this map pick of theirs, na Black Widow. When it comes to the next map, it's either Ang it's me either Ankara or Port, regardless of what it is. Those two maps. They're known to be Pacific map, the powerhouse maps. So Literally, the whole competitive so map pool, man, belongs to Pacific Makta. No bias intended, but that is the impression that Makta is showing to the whole tournament. No stoppage of momentum and energy, kahit sa ang mapa mo sila dalhin. Pero kaya pa din to ng SGJ. They need to I have really this mental believe, reset, man. man. I really believe on SGJ. Make me a believer. SGJ, there is hope for Yobib. There is a slight, slight hope for Tino. I saw him. I saw hitting those. I saw him hitting those shots. But the crucial mistakes are much more bigger onto SGJ. Where Take a look it? at the highlights yep. that could give us the impression that PM was at least, you know, medyo kinakabahan si PM somehow, some way entering into that second half because SGJ was just knocking and knocking. Don't be sila nakapasok, but they know the location of PM. First half, very much competitive. No? Tinan mo ba naman, 5-4 to four yung sco score lang na nangyari dito. 5-8, to eight, actually, et ito yung round kung nasan napakalalim na ni Justin and just caused a domino effect for Team of Pacific Makta. Pero ultimately, at the end, Pacific Makta just absolutely able to hold it down. Jaan! sa global recite. Tapos ngayon, tinan mo ba naman yung set summary ngayon? Parang map 1 lang, pare ko, eh. 10 to 7. Just like map 1, what we saw dun sa compound map, makita ba natin dito sa map 3 natin, it is going to be, I don't know if it's Port or Ankara, it's either one of those maps. They're both known as Pacific Makta Powerhouse maps and going to need a miracle ka SJ Reborn. Kailangan nila kumuha ng mental reset, kailangan ba nila kumuha ng... Uh, mechanical reset, technical reset, again, some kind of reset because an 0-2 scoreline, they might get kicked out of this tournament if it goes 0-3. Oh my dangerous. god, man. I am SDJ. speechless in that performance by Pacific Makta, but I am more speechless on how Yobib is still holding his own. Wala muna nga alis mga ka-crossfire kasi babalik tayo sa ating match number 3, CFSPH Masters Fall Finals. We'll be right back after this.
What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to CFS Masters PH Fall Grand Finals. And the altercation of Pacific Makta versus SGG Reborn continues in map number three. Salvatore and R2G back at it again to deliver you the action live here at High Grounds Cafe in Quezon City. And what a day it is for all of us FPS enjoyers out there. A very, very gory 3-0 by Execration and right now Pacific Mangta has solidified really that they are a team that should not be messed with no. scoring 2-0 up against SGJ. Nakita ko actually yung mga member ng SGJ dun sa CR. Di ba? Nag-break tayo. Pumunta ko sa CR. Nag-CR break lang ng onte na and narinig ko sila. Narinig ko sila. Nag-uusap sila. Sinasabi nila. Ito guys. Ito gawin natin. Um, oh. oh! Actually, well, di ko, di ko sasabihin anong gagawin nila. Oh. Pero with that being said, they were talking about what things they need to improve on. And I think that's a good sign for the team of SGJ para makabawi sila dito sa, hopefully dito sa map 3 natin and maybe bring this back, reverse sweep, pupunta dito sa game 5 if that if that is a possibility. Hopefully it is. Makita na natin. Actually, pag, uh, bago nga lumabas dyan, sabi ko, guys, Bawi kayo, okay. ganun, eh. So Yung everything kayo. indeed is a possibility pag nasa loob ka ng CFSPH fall Finals could be mm -hmm. reverse sweeps, could be an underdog could winning be. versus the Titans, or mabago talaga ang kwento ngayong araw na to. And it's it, all been Pacific Makta this yep. year. Can SGJ even out the achievements? Ka, ka, pwede bang gayahin yung last year? Yeah. Diba? Last the, year the once glorified SGJ? Oh. Pero ngayon, pero ngayon talaga eh, it's all Pacific Makta. Yeah, it is all Pacific Makta all the way through so far. SGJ, may laban nga. They are able to bring these games to a closer fight than na nakita natin dun sa Execration Metacore matchup. This one nakita natin at least 10 to 7 yung dalawang scoreline sa map 1 and sa map 2. However, dito sa map 3, it is it is going to be difficult for SGJ. I believe this is going to be Pacific Makta's map pick, you know? Whether it be Port or Ankara, I, I, I'm still not sure. Makita natin in just a few kung ano talaga yung mapa na yan. But it, whether it be Port or Ankara, alam ko malakas talaga ang Pacific Makta when it comes to those maps. But with that being said, SGJ, may laban pa. Pwede pang bumawi. I want to see it happen. I have to see it happen. We must see it happen. But with, uh, where, with the way Pacific Makta is playing, it's a difficult task. Mahirap talaga siya, Salvatore. Yeah. And uh, that is really the struggle for SGJ as a whole, as a whole team, uh, for the for once that we could remember from that map number one heading into map number three. Mm. It was very a Pacific Makta sided sort of territory that there was a slight bit of hope. I know SGJ could have this aggression. Meron naman talaga sila. Eh. I wonder where the hesitation is coming from. Is it because they could get punished? Is it because they could get turned around? The risks are there. Of course, you have to live with the risks in order to be effective. Tama. And that's why Pacific Makta has been this successful. They are weighing out the risks and at least making it work somehow, some shape or form. Talagang nagiging consistent sila sa mga bagay na yun, And that is where SGJ needs to start. Before they do make something out of gun skill and macro alone, how are they gonna strategize using those set of skills into a victory-like lap like Pacific Makta is doing right now? Uh -uh. How? That's how? the question. We'll a see huge, it. huge sounding echo of a how para kay Pacific Makta. Kasi ah, no. nasagot na lahat ni Pacific Makta. Ay, I mean, nasagot na lahat kagad ni Pacific Makta and SGJ cannot answer how. Si PM meron ng what, from, from the where, way, yeah, true. and when. From, from the way I see it, no? Uh, okay, so this map is actually going to be Ankara. So That's from the way I see it, someone like Aldrin, a dangerous site. Kung ikaw ang nasa team ng SGJ Reborn because someone like Aldrin is very much awake right now. Very gising na gising. The two Terminators, Aldrin, Revenge, both showing off an absolutely strong performance coming out here. They need to be able to equalize or to match this type of firepower or ba dapat di sila magulat sa ano man nangyayari or ano man ginagawa sa team ng Pacific Makta. SGJ Reborn, uh, they need to work on the communication or kung ano man yung iniisip nila midway in those mid-rounds na nagpapatagal sa nila especially kung nasa blacklist sila. 
kailangan nila bilisan nila onting decision making but once they get that down feeling ko may potential pa ibalik tong FCJ Reborn against Pacific Magda ngayon makita natin dito ang map 3 natin maka-comeback ba ang SGJ dito against Pacific Magda or will Pacific Magda solidify their legacy this year as the PH number 1 team here in the CFSPH look at Fall the bench, summer man. finals just walk scoping onto the AWM na parang nawa, di siya nawawala ng accuracy pa naglalakad siya. Hindi nga. That is very... Yun yung sinasabi kong risk na kinukuha ng Pacific Macta. Kahit alam mong may pwedeng masamang mangyari kay Macta, tuloy-tuloy pa rin sila. And they are weighing with that, with the amount of options oh. that they had. It's like Pacific Macta, so many alternatives. Kumbaga. Ngayon, SGJ now needs to have some Deeper. sort of leniency in a way that Pacific Macta cannot expect. A must win for SGJ to at least breathe freely. Okay. But Aldrin not letting everyone breathe a single oxygen in this environment. Tinanggalan na ng oxygen tank ng Pacific Mark ng SGJ. No room to breathe, no, no room to move. Now, Pacific Mark, they have now picked off two. Asaan na ang SGJ. This is very, very odd. Pacific Makta, a very, a very unorthodox sort of game style right now, but somehow it is effective. Somehow, some way they won the round. Ah, that was very surprising, man. It may seem unorthodox, but my plan is Pacific Makta. Na yan eh. It's it is a plan on a plan. When you think there is a play na magtataka, wait, why they do that? There, there is a plan for it. My reason siya kung bakit nila nagawin yung ganon. Eh. Honestly, and on, that was it. On an analyst standpoint, I didn't know what they did. It's like they just stood. That's what they did. Yeah, Kasi walang walang pra, walang prior rotation lang. eh. Tamang depensa lang. Yeah. And, and that's very not Pacific Makta. Usually someone goes out onto tunnel, tapos bang, maybe casualty, but no. It's not and also revenge is not getting the upper on this bomb site. So it's really it's really weird Kasi MBA is on that end. So now MBA and Justin, the two anchors of the bomb site, are gonna defend Here a four-member push coming in from SGJ. There goes the Utils up inside the bomb site as Justin will be taking a very nice cover in this one. And there goes the Armada of Chance coming in from SGJ. Here comes MBA with a 2K! SGJ gets overwhelmed by one singular member despite Justin's advantages. MBA can make it work. There goes the plan coming in from SGJ as 38 seconds is now on the clock as Bakta needs to work. Revenge! Revenge. What a disgusting shot once again! Coming in from Kistan Amores. Revenge takes down Yobib. And the rest of SGJ are now falling. But Tino is saying no to that. MBA begs to differ. 2v1. Kelar down to at least one leg. ZYK finishes it off and completes the retake. ZYK cleaning up. Para sa side ng Pacific Makta Jan SGJ finding no answer to the Pacific Makta retakes. New round. As makita natin dito, a different type of setup this time coming around from the side of SGJ. Heavy sila sa mid. Karapat dapat hindi. Just slowing it down. Waiting for any aggression coming out from the side of Pacific Makta. KSA. Na oh, UYK, okay. And now, that's a good start for SGJ. Kung gusto nila gumawa ng comeback muli. Okay, that's ZYK but that's no MVA or revenge though. Now, SDJ, at least they got one. Now, how can they make it work? Pacific Mangta is a very formidable team in these situations when the man advantage is not present into them. So what can they do? They just rotate. They just put in on a show in wherein SGJ is not participating because they don't know what the flow of the program is. And Pacific Mangta is gonna use that para hindi makakilos na naman si SGJ. Now, this is a good coverage from Tunnel. Now, uh -huh. where is the rest of the crew at mid? They are buying up some time before they get the prime spot to enter at A main. That is the question. There's still no raining of utils, and SGJ is on the right track. SGJ is on the right track as they are just trying to find for any form of aggression coming up from these both teams. But now, essentially, pag makita mo yung orasan, isang minuto na lang. Kumbaga, on the first half netong round na to, puro lang holding and waiting na 
nasasayangan ang oras na pwede sana kumuha ng control dito sa SDJ. Ngayon, yung option nila, mas lumiit. It has to be a burst type of push. And it looks like gusto nila maghanap ng pitas okay. dito sa A area. KSA, B-Boy, nandito sa oh. bench area. Or si 40 Justin, seconds. Nag-hold. Nagbibilang na yung oras dito para sa Pacific Mata. They know have to move. Revenge gets a quick scope but Keller was on the right place at the right time to take down Revenge. And there goes SGJ with the pursuit. Lamang sa kanila ang mga tauhan dito. 25 seconds left on the clock. And there goes still. KSA. They need to push. Where's the push coming in from SGJ? They're just piling up so much time. Grabe nga naman yung sinasayang nalang oras. There goes a two-man push. And Yobim gets a revenge kill. It's still a 2v3. NBA and Aldrin needs to make it work. 10 seconds left on the clock. Sobrang daming oras na sinayang na SGJ. Can they make it a plant? Can they plant though? Ito na ang oras para magtanim. And everyone from Pacific Makta bounce down to SGJ in that round. What a line of defense by SGJ. Sinabi ng SGJ nung round na yun, di na namin kailangan magplant ng bomba. Di na na kailangan itanim. Ang kailangan lang namin, patayin lahat ng membro ng Pacific Makta at yun yung ginawa nila doon sa late push na ginawa ng SGJ at nagulat doon yung Pacific Makta off the initial pick-off na ginawa nila doon kay ZYK. Great play galing doon sa side ng SGJ. Revenge, holding dito sa mid. Muntik na makaharap ng unang pitas against Tino pero hindi nila ipabalipas Tino throwing out that smoke, denying that information for the side of Pacific Makta. Hindi nila alam kung nasa na sila nakapuesto. However, A lobby still heavily favored to the side ng SGJ311 setup. Dalawa nakahold dito sa hotel area. ZYK resting it down, holding it with his body. Now, this is indeed a Makta game so far. But from what I'm seeing right now, SGJ finally turning the tides as... They've now adapted to the environment. Nabasa na nila. They have, uh, they have now moved on from the natural selection type of play style from Pacific Makta. So now, this is the question though for SDJ. Where would the consistency come from? Saan natin siya makikita? Are they gonna go for off angles? ZYK and NIBL. Oh, ZYK not picking it in. Pero... Grabe, wait, nagpapatintero wait, lang. Wait, wait, ZYK wait. now goes in deep! ZYK takes down NIBL. So yung nagwagi dyan sa sitwasyon na yan, totoo ba yan? ZYK, patakbo-takbo lang ang kanyang ginawa. In ang lala. Now, Revenge holding it out. The next line of defense dito sa mid-area. As makita natin, SGJ on a scramble to find for any opening here in the different sites. 30 seconds na ang nasa orasan. Keller, at least, nahanap yung Terminator na si Alden versus ZYK. Nasa likod na nila. As KSA, at least, the na doubt. niyang pitas. Ah, grabe, SGJ! The game was on your hands. But Revenge had to just play professional crossfire para di nyo maramdaman. Ngayon, Pacific Pacta, there goes the push. Kill are the lone member alive coming into the side of SGJ as they take down Revenge, though. But the time is not on there. Their side, hindi nila amigo ang oras. A failed mission by SGJ to move deep into enemy lines. And that is now a dub for Makta. Ito yung problema sa slow play na ginagawa nito ng SGJ. Yes, tama. Get, gets ko, they need to watch for the aggression na gagawin ng Pacific Makta. However, the side ng Pacific Makta, they are playing passive. And they just allow the time na mahulog lang maging one minute to 30 seconds to 10 seconds hanggat maging zero na siya and that is an absolute perfectly played there from the side of Pacific Makta di na din nila kailangan patayin they just needed to wait for the time to hold down to zero four man push na ginagawa dito na side ng SGJ trying to find for an opening here in the mid Aldrin the will flash. be the next line of defense here oh hindi na huli si NIBL huli. and as the B side buhos na ng SGJ yan pero si DYK at si Aldrin nakahanap ng kanilang bridas Blomb will go down. Hotel is still in control of Pacific Makta ZYK holding it down. 4v2. Another entry for them for this retake. 4v2. 4v2. Yobi Ben Kel are on a very tough spot right now, but they are still fighting. Yobib gets a huge 2k. Pero, dugoan na dito si Yobib. He's still making it work despite the 1 HP. No! no absolute way! Yobib did that to Pacific Makta. A 1 HP, 1v4, R2G. 
Pinaglolo ko mo ba ako dito, yo, babe? Yo, babe, b-boy, ikaw na! Ikaw Woo! na ang malupet! What an incredible play na ginawa ni B-Boy Jan, And that is the X Factor of SGJ. And that's exactly the momentum shifter that they need kung gusto nila mag-comeback dito sa series na to. My goodness. And now, Pacific Macta no. changing their setup. Revenge. That has to be a down. mental hurter for Pacific Macta. Golly, yo, bib. Finally, a resurgence that I have been looking for. But once again, that is just a block of ice. Mm. The iceberg is still huge for Pacific Makta. Now, the question is, can they still make it work once again? There's so many questions lingering for SGJ. Flashback. Okay, a bit okay smoke nice lineup dito. though. Set up dito sa B. Saan patutunguhan tong Pacific Makta? They're gonna push it in. CYK! There it is! Starts it off for PM. KLR. KLR gets taken Z1. down. Aldrin will be taken down. NIVL as well. In Inisa isa na lang Pacific Makta. They're lurking into the positions. Revenge doesn't get the first shot. But his Colt will do him justice. Yo, Bib takes down Revenge though. Marami pang kailangan gawin ng SGJ dito as PM still have the numbers advantage so the retake could possibly be huge here. Yo, Bib is still alive. The one that helped save SGJ. And now they take down Yo, Bib. Pacific Makta is breathing freely once they knew Yo, Bib was down. And Makta, strong two-point lead. B-boy, muntik na. Muntik pa na para sa side ng SGJ. But you can't constantly rely on someone like Yobib every single time. This is still a team effort, team game. Everyone needs to wake up for the side of SGJ. And someone like NIVL needs to wake up. Nakita natin, isa lang yung kill niya. He needs to start to be online. Start to activate for the side of SGJ. Hotel control, kinukuha na ng SGJ. However, Pacific Makta, parang may base sila. Parang... May amoy sila, may sense na baka nandyan ang mga member ng SGJ dyan sa hotel. So binibigay muna nila and they are holding deep in sight. Aldrin, next line of defense para dito kung papasok ang team ng SGJ as revenge. Holding dito sa under, wala siyang mahanap dyan as hotel is slowly but surely being pushed out for the side of solid gaming, solid gold jewelry. Okay. Revenge now, holding bar. Oh, okay, so this is, this is a really uh, a weird setup once again by Pacific Makta. But it's a different setup, yeah. But it could it's, it's not their well. default ones. Tinuman ba naman kung nasa nakapwesto na to si ZYK? Ang lalim na niya sa mid. He can get all this information for free and he can say, "Okay guys, so lang tao dito sa A. Double reinforce that B site up smoke ang yung ginagawa ng Pacific Makta ngayon. Tingnan mo ba naman, tatlo ang naka-hold diyan. Both teams are like breathing heavily. Where is the enemy team? Walang ka Intel, Intel. Okay, ZYK at least spots Tino. But, you know, ZYK knows better. And doesn't want to child that, child that one. Oh, okay, ZYK uh, okay. finally gets the first casualty for SGJ. As NIVL is now down. Now, Pacific Makta are setting up this site for success. Tino takes down ZYK. Nag-peak pa rin siya. ZYK should know Aldrin. better. Bulaga ka kay KSA. 2K recorded by that man alone. It's now a 2v3. Will Pacific Makta fall under the hands of SGJ? Their setup is really nice. Oh. What a ridiculous shot by MVA. Where did that come from? Can he repeak? There goes the Richal. SGJ is still biting off the hands of PM. Ito na ang tulak, MVA. He weighs down all the magazines over to his AK just to take down KSA. MVA with a ridiculous flick. What a shot by MVA. And PM, three point lead. Three point lead coming out this side ng Pacific Makta. Ang ganda ng kanilang retake in that position. Nakala ko nga. SGJ would have that in the bag, but Pacific Makta nagpapakita pa din ng kanilang angas at gilas dito. Bar, onting labanan as this time it's a fast mid push galing sa side ng SGJ. Apat, gusto mag-push dito. C4 has been pushed out and Ooh. has been committed. Pero si Revenge, handang handa sa posibilidad na yan and stops the push of SGJ. Sabi nila, dyan si Revenge, huwag na natin mag-push. Hanggang dito lang tayo. Eh, 
kalmado lang tayo mag-back tayo dito as they go back to their default de very default situation here but they are down a member and Makta ang dali na lang to hold kung sila ay ganyan they just need to double up in those sites and just hold the same angles that they're doing however 4v5 very much doable for the side of the blacklist definitely man and there's so much uh, utils for Blacklist right now. Para talaga kumilos. But Pacific Bakta, despite the advantage that SUJ is offering into the table, they are still indeed fighting despite the lack of resources of the, uh, the global risk. So that in turn could just give the scare off of Pacific Makta. But no, they are still fighting. Now, this is really nice for Makta. It's like they're very consistent. For SGJ though, it's, it's like they're trying to be consistent. They are forcing everything. They're trying to make a play. Gumagana naman. But on the late game side, I tell you, man, the early aggression from SGJ is just that good. Pero when the, when the clock strikes seconds, doon na nagpo-fall ang SGJ. Now, that is the sign for Pacific Makta to move around the map, force a flank, and then set up the site for a possible defense. An anchor in the making. That is MBA and Aldrin. And there goes Tino entering with an AWM. Ipakita mo na parang M4 at AK yung AWM Tino. Here comes the beat by Justin. Gets one, gets two. Kahit PWD pa yan si Justin. Kukuha siya ng 2K. 20 seconds now left on the clock. KLR, the only known member alive for SGJ with 15 left. What can he do? The question still remains. Is SGJ still in the game? The answer is yes, but not for long. Justin, huge 3K to send off SGJ into a frenzy. You, it, 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 ito yung setup ng Pacific Max na nakikita ko so far. ZYK with the lurk. Pwede siya mag-agresibo dyan, especially if he finds no contact galing sa side ng SGJ. It's like they know the timings in each and every single part ng mga pantong ang kara. Tingnan mo ba naman, ting sinasabi ko, agresibo na naman to ZYK. And someone like Aldrin, pwede pwede niyang gawin yan. Kasi siya isang Terminator. And he gets the headshots whenever you need him to. However, B-Boy, Nahanap din niya ang rest back para sa team ng SGJ. Pero saan na naman napunta ang advantage ng numbers sa side ng Pacific Makta at pwede silang ma-backstab ni Revenge. Revenge! Malamang si Revenge yung kukuha ng patay na yun, pre. Pwedeng pwede silang ma-backstab ni Revenge at yun talaga ang nangyari dyan. Tino, sige, nahanap mo si Justin pero wala yung C4 sa kamay mo. Alam ng Pacific Makta kung saan nakapuesto ang C4 at tingnan mo ba naman it is a very very far set trap na sinet up 1 minute and 18 marami pang pwedeng oras na igalaw si SGJ dito in terms of Tino where is he gonna go from to start off the tour of this game ang kwento kasi dito is Pacific Makta when it's late game their setups are godly but SGJ, can they at least counter that narrative na parang hindi na totoo? mag ba yung kwento para kay Tino? 50 seconds. No resources. Literally, just gun skill. Distansya na lang ang pwedeng puhunan dito oh. ng SGJ. On the back of Tino, there goes a the fight! Now NBA is down, it's 1v1. 33 left on the clock. SGJ is just crawling and crawling as he heads on over to the bomb site. Okay. And Revenge is on the opposite side of the map. Masyado pang malayo yung pupuntahan ni Revenge dito. It's an AWM versus an AK. Or is Revenge switching to so an old reliable? I think he okay. should. Okay, Revenge is gonna go for a flank possibly. Okay, Revenge! Both snipers are both using an AR! Okay, there goes the matchup. Timing. Oh, this is really intense, Tino! Gising na Whoa. para sa SGJ just activates on the last possible second. Gising na. Who would have thought we've seen two snipers use an AK, man? Well, that's it. In that 1v1 situation, dapat lang talaga nag-AR silang dalawa yan. Kasi mahirap mag-clutch sa ganyang situation kung naka, ano, AWM ka lang. But with that being said, my goodness, SGJ, my own thing laban pa dito. The potential of the comeback is still very Ooh. there. And di ko alam ang nangyari between the timing ni Revenge. It was an equal matchup as well. It, 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 I, I don't know what happened with the timing. It was, I believe, 
Revenge and ZYK or I don't know who it was. Bago magana lang talaga yung timing niya pag AWM. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know, man. He was holding an AWM. Na napalipas niya. There was a time there where naka lusot na si Tino dun sa situation niyan, and that's why he was able to get the G point. Actually, a nice read off by Tino, no? Yeah. Kahit he wasn't going for main, he wasn't going also for tunnel. Somehow, some way, he had the sense para basahin na pumunta siyang backside. Mm -mm. So that was nice. That was, was nice by Tino. And finally, that garnered him the support and the momentum that he needs entering into the side switch. Mm. Now, this is really, really intriguing right now as they are now going for the global risk. Mm. SGJ, their defense indeed is really nice. Yep. So, pwede sila makabawi. They could cave in the bait play style that they pwede. really wanted to be efficient from the start. Or it's just specific Makta. Is reading the memo. Na dapat talaga kami yung manalo eh. Somehow, some way, Pacific Makta really tries to shape things up in terms of gameplay style. Depende sa kalaban. You know that I, that's based off on experience. Okay. I, so yeah, I am, I am I am interested to know no. Kasi nakita natin dito sa side ng uh, SGJ ng Solid Gold Jewelry na gumagawa sila ng double AWM setup. But I see it sa blacklist side. I think. They might bring it out deep as a global risk side as we are going to the second half to the scoreline of 63. Potentially, they can bring it out and that will work to their favor since the map of Ankara is possible ang double AWM setup for a map like this. Bar, control, ni B-Boy, shutdown, ni MBA. Next up, KSA, wala ka na din. Tanggal lang ulo mo against MBA. Kellar, at least nakahanap siya ng isang pitas. As revenge, also gets a pick off. Ooh, ZYK gets a kill on the Tino though. NIBL on no man's land right now. Pero lumalaban pa rin ang matikas na NIBL. One minute and 45. This is gonna be the start for SGJ's tour. 38 now ticking. 1v3. This is a really tough spot for NIBL though. He doesn't have any much options since three are alive. All has coverage, tunnel, backside, and as well as main. Ito na ang pasok ni NIBL. They're separating him. Oh, NIBL naging PWD. Wala na siya makita dito. So where is this gonna lead? Towards SGJ. They're gonna walk in. MBA has a good spot. Aldrin, what a swing by Aldrin. That's Pacific Makta, a four-point lead. He just swung and got a headshot. My, that control was insane. Uh, absolutely insane. Pacific Mac ta ngayon. Comfortable and comfortable sa situation nila. Holding it down dito sa A lobby area. Naghanap ng pitas galing kay Revenge. Bar control is now given to the side of Pacific Mac ta. However, it is Vince. Gusto nila kunin. Pero tatlo ang nakapuesto sa A. KSA spotted out. Justin. Forced to push out. Grenade. Tinapon. Walang nahanap. Oh, there's the entry. Justin, no remorse. Pero Yopi, pagbabawalan pa siyang magasek ng dilim sa loob ng bomb site. Wow. What a ridiculous flick by NBA. Once again, reigning over the competition. SGJ struggling to make a name for themselves in this situation. But NBA is close. To meeting his deathbed, literally one bullet away from the AK. MBA is still making it rain over to SGJ ang and Makta, two points away from history. Ang ganda ng entry na ginawa ni Justin at ni MBA jan. They ran in, patalon, patalon, and nahanap nila ang nagdedepensa don ng Pacific Makta kung bago pang kalabo mo si Spider Man na go hold lang na tumatalon at Nagsi swing everywhere, and that's what happened with MBA and Justin with an absolutely superb entry. And oh. here it goes. Oh, again. Justin gets a peek, but MBA has was there for the follow up. Despite the utils thrown here by Pacific Makta, it was really nice for SGJ to have the defense what? lined up. Aldrin, ooh, getting wow. getting those kills, but KSA trades it off. Ngayon, si Revenge! Ayan. Oh my God, Revenge! You know, grabe nga naman talaga, no? Despite the smokes, despite uy! the flashes. Uy! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Muntik na sanang malupit na play yun para kay Revenge. But seriously, though, despite the smokes, despite the flashes of 
SGJ Pacific Makta is still efficient on those kills. Oh! Kahit wala silang utils, Pacific Makta one point away for making high grounds shake. At rinig na rinig mo yung crowd dito sa high grounds. They want this to be the side of Pacific Magda SGJ. Now they are in an aggressive position. We've seen Pacific Magda do this type of setup. But this time around, it's SGJ that brings it out. And NIVL, maganda ang unang pita sa nakuha niya. Pero Pacific Magda with the reaction, alam nila walang tao dyan sa A-site. Sa kanina na yan. And they'll be able to plant the bomb, forcing the retake situation. Oh, this is good for SGJ though. Man advantage para si Yobib. Nabipick up na kagad. KSA, good pick up on to revenge. MBA is down to his last legs. Yobib picks him up. Justin and Aldrin making it work for PM. But it's a 1v2. SGJ. Nice. Buhay pa din sila. Oh boy, pa din sila. SGJ is still fighting. Familiar scoreline. R2G. 9-3. to three. And somehow, SGJ won that. I would just like to reiterate, man. PM, kahit nabubulag from the flashes, kahit nalilito doon sa smokes na binabato ng SGJ, they're acting like they are very disabled because they cannot move. And kahit ganun, nakakakilos pa rin sila somehow in getting those pickups. That is why PM is really that efficient on those 1v1s. Mm -mm. And makita natin dito, ibang setup naman dito galing sa side ng SGJ, double bench up. Agresibo sila dito sa... Hey, Ben, baka mahuli sila. Okay, Justin. Justin. Now there goes the trade off. It's a 3v3. Pays out for SGJ. Big stakes for SGJ. Pays oh. off. It pays off for it, SGJ. It really is going to pay off. Finally, they've activated. But the damage has been done to the system of SGJ. But B, mag-isa na dito si B-Boy. At tinuman ba naman yung HP niya? It's not the healthiest member ng SGJ. And... Tatlo ang kanyang lalabanan dito and all of them are Pacific. Mark the revenge. Oh! Contact. Yo, bib. Nice pick on to revenge though. That is huge for SGJ. Ito na ang resurgence possibly. ZYK takes down. Yo, bib. 2B1. ZYK. One kill away from making the ground shake here live at high grounds. 2v1, KLR, not re challenging, double pick, there goes the nade, Aldrin and ZYK, both left and right, there goes KLR, spots down Aldrin, One and on ZYK one. down to his last legs, KLR gets the clutch, humihinga pa rin ng malalim ang SGJ, Buhay. swimming with the sharks is not enough for SGJ. KLR, they want to swim with the Megalodon, that is PM. And they are four points away. Kelar, my bloodline, para sa side ng solid gold jewelry reborn. Magendang kanyang reposition jan sa loob ng site, and it catches Pacific Magta off guard. Magita natin dito Pacific Magta now again forced to play it passively once again. Since last two rounds, SGJ nagpapakita ng agresibong, agresibong type of play and that just catches Pacific Magta off guard from time to time. Pero ngayon, mukhang mag-rotate na sila dito papunta sa A area. Pacific Magta set plays. Pero tatlo ang nakabantay dito para sa team ng SGJ. Tino, NIVL. NIVL, feeling ko ang pinakaunang linya ng depensa na mag-hold dito, here and now. Oh, Justin, nice peak, but KLR also gonna follow up with a kill on to MBA, pero Justin is still lurking inside of the bomb site. There goes the reach, Al Aldrin takes down KLR, but there goes a trade. 2v2, yo, Bib! And now a 1v1! Can PM win this? Hindi pa rin tapos! Wala mo nang uuwi! Because SGJ is still fighting! Babawi ang SGJ na yan. Wala daw muna uuwi. Alam natin yung crowd. Inip na, inip na. Gusto na makita to. And it will not yet end. SGJ, Tino, nakahanap ng unang pitas dun against Justin. Holding it down for the team of SGJ right now. No. On life support na to. SGJ, pre. 
They are just relying on the mistakes of PM. And it looks like Pacific Makta. Gusto nila ulitin. Every round closer. Sobrang lapit na ni PM sa ginto. Ito na. Pero hinahatak pa rin pababa ni SGJ si PM. And SGJ now leads the board once again with man advantage. There goes the flag, ZYK. He gets one, but there's still more to work. Now it's time. This is a familiar situation for Makta. As Aldrin gets taken down, ZYK, Yobib, and KSA. Double up now. A standoff in the making. PM has the advantage. Oh, there goes a oh, double wow. peak. SGJ, my God, is making everybody a believer right now. Parang ipis na ayaw mamatay. Ayan ang SGJ. Holding it down, making sure that their lifeline is not in vain. Imagine mo, pag nakambak nila to, they are going, they are, they will have a six-point comeback from this point on, and that's absolutely insane and a heart crusher for a team of Pacific Makta kung nakambak pa to ng SGJ. Back to a default setup. This time around, iba, apat, and dito sa B, para sa side ng SGJ. Actually, lima na nga eh. May isa lang dito sa mid. Wala nakabantay sa A. Making sure that they get the information. KSA, onting agresibo dito sa hotel. Will it pay off? Will it work? And Kellar as well, holding dito sa bridge. It is a spot trap na posibleng, posibleng gumana para sa team ng SDJ. Pero Pacific Makta, kung nakuha lang nilang informasyon na walang tao sa A, alam mo mabilis ang kanilang respo dyan. They might just rotate A the instance they get the information na walang katao-tao dyan na nakabantay. But it doesn't look like they're gonna get that anytime soon. Smoke grenades, tinapon na. Mid-area, heavily fortified ng dalawang miyembro ng Pacific, ng SGJ. Tino is on a mission once again. Luminin niya. ZYK swings on to Yobib. That looks like it. A huge, crucial pick-off by Makta. Makta, pabunta na sila dyan sa A site. Siguro nakaamoy, nakaalam na walang tao. Nice pick by Kel Ardo. ZYK is down. Pero marami pang kailangan itrabaho ang both PM and SGJ. But in terms of position, SGJ really is strong right now. Okay. And now, PM, they're gonna bait them in inside of the domain that Pacific Makta built. The domain expansion ng Pacific 30, Makta. 30, 30, 30 seconds. There's. 30 seconds. Oh no, member is still closing in. Are revenge. they gonna use the time? Aldrin, big up on to KLR and Revenge. And it started off Aldrin. Oh, no. One member away from making Tino. history. And Tino is making it work for SGJ. But is the time his friend? Look at the time. R2G. Eight seconds. He will make the whole out crowd shake. Pacific Makta makes history. And they let everybody know that they are the champions of fall. Ting na mo ba naman ang pop off na yan? Into mayu sila at makita mo si Revenge. Buhay na buhay si lahat ng members ng Bazi Big Makta. Kino kinahakawain na mga members ng SDJ. Three O Dao sabi ni Revenge. Three O. Three O Dao sabi ni NBA ni King. Lat sila. Happy, happy dyan sa laro na yan and they have to be proud. Ladies and gentlemen, they are still your reigning and defending CFSBH Masters Champion. They've Pacific conquered Mata. summer. They conquered fall. They conquered the odds. And Makta is still sitting at the throne of kings. Pacific Makta is your 2023 CFS Masters PH Fall Champions. 3-0. 3-0. Pacific Makta absolutely showing us kung ba't sila yung pinakamagaling na na team dito sa Pilipinas. And tingnan mo ba naman yan? Onting banter at the end of the day. Sportsmanship pa naman ang pinapakita nila dito. Each just showing each other that they are, you know, still team's best friends but with that being said SGJ they still qualify for APAC 
APAC Series 2023 this November. So, they still have a chance. Baka bumawi sila. Pwede, nila, pwede sila kumuha ng revenge dyan kasi at one point, nalabanan nila na, na, na yung Pacific Macta. So, there is a chance for them to prove internationally then na kaya nila lumaban. And with that being said, Pacific Macta will be the team to qualify for the Crossfire Grand Finals, the International Grand Finals. They will represent us and grabe dito sa grabe High Grounds Cafe. High Grounds, man. Buhay the energy buhay sila. is lively and everybody is making sure that their voices are heard. Once again, congratulations to Pacific Makta for reigning over the competition and proving once and for all that they are indeed the champions of, they the, are Philippines. The, champions of the Philippines. Congratulations as well to SGJ for securing top two and making that series one heck of a series. Even if we are gonna tell our grandchildren. Yeah, even if it was 3 0, it still felt like SGJ still had chances from time to time. Yeah. Diba? And I swear, man. When we were giving the flat over to SGJ, they really wanted to get better. And I saw the jumping of Macro from, uh, from Tino and as well as KSA. We saw the jump shift of attitude and yung gun skill. Nila. But it had just to boil down on some miracle and the strength of Pacific Magta. When they are grouped up together, they make the whole high grounds shake. My Grabe. goodness, R2G. Pacific Makta. What, what an experience, man. What an experience. What a game. What an event na nangyari dito sa mga nanonood dyan. Uh, SGJ and Pacific Makta both duked it out. Panalo po ang Pacific Makta dito 3-0. And with that being said, don't feel bad for the members of SGJ. They still have a chance to have a, to show their strength. No? Yung papakita gila sa APAC. Series 2023 this coming November. Kasama nila ang Pacific Makta. Pero since Pacific Makta won first place, Pacific Makta po sila po ang magproposid sa Crossfire Grand Finals po natin, which is yung biggest international tournament. Yeah. They'll be fighting against teams like China, Vietnam, Brazil, Brazil. Germany, or kasi naman yung European team na nagqualify for the tournament and I'm excited to see that sa totoo lang baka bumawi pa tayong buong Pilipinas dito kasi nakita natin dito nag-level up na nga ang Crossfire Philippines not only in gameplay but in the community as yeah. well yeah we saw the hope from Pacific Makta when they were taking games out of all gamers mm. we saw SGJ triumph over in their 20 uh, 2022 uh, CFS run Tama. no the world championships was really right there and I really like the growing community and the skill over all of these Filipino franchises. When they go international, they make us proud. They really, really, really do. And uh, wow, I guess gotta say, sa mga, uh, sa mga, sa mga nanonood dyan, sa mga, na, sa mga gustong, or kung sino man interested para... Uh, sumali sa mga tournaments natin in the future. We'll just keep posted po. Palike na lang din po ng Facebook page natin dito sa Crossfire Philippines. This will end the for at least this season for local tournaments. But on next year po, there will be a lot more to come. And um, baka may makita tayo mga bagong teams that can sh shut down uh, the, the big champions right now. But that's still... They are the still, champions right now. That's Pacific still a very, Magna. very big question. No? Let's natin. take a look at the highlights that we will all remember pagkatapos natin lumabas dito because this is the solidification that Makta triumphed over everybody, every hurdle, every hoop. Nilagpasan lang nila like it was an easy day job for them. First half, I uh, really thought SGJ was gonna make PM run but somehow some way PM like I see like yun yung efficiency na sinasabi ko PM the spokes and the flashes were so efficient for SGJ and PM was still garnering so much kills B-boy kahit talaga na kahit talaga nabubulag na pipi hindi makakilos yung PM when SGJ was guarding down bombsite A mm -mm. that's what I am telling the rest of the crew here PM, their game sense is through the roof. Kahit anong iba to mong flash, kahit ano iba to mong smoke, kahit anong pressure ibigay mo kay PM, they still manage to walk through unscathed and get someone six feet under. That's where the experience comes in. 
Makita mo mga dito 10 to 7 na ngayon ang scoreline from the set summary. And actually, pag nakita mo yung buong overview ng series na to, I assure you, it is the same score all the way through. Somehow, Pacific Macta always would close it out when SGJ Reborn were just in the verge of putting it into overtime. So, sabi nila, pag naka 7 na kayo, pag naka 7 na kayo, close out na namin, sabi ng Pacific Macta. Tingnan mo ba naman, 10-7 na, di ba, sabi ko? Ted 7s. All the way All through. through the roof. And SGJ is not gonna like the 7 despite its luckiness. Pero ito, masabi ko, ha? this is the closest that any team has had to Pacific Macta. To this whole year. Yeah. To Pacific Macta. Lahat 10 to 7. So, that is an incredible feat galing sa side ng SGJ Reborn ngayon. Pwede pa sila mag-practice, pwede pa nila manood yung mga VODs nila, pwede pa sila gumawa ng kahit ano para makita nila kung ano man yung pagkakamali nila at pag-improve nila dyan. Yeah. As makita natin dito, yung final bracket, the final. The final. The final. Final bracket. Final bracket Wala na talaga to. kontra dito. Ito na talaga yung nangyari sa kwento natin ngayon. And the CFS Masters PH Grand Champion Pacific, Pacific Makta. Makita na din natin Remember dito. their names. Yeah. They're ZYK. They are Aldrin. There's Revenge. There's Justin. NBA. And MVA. Remember their names because the whole 2023, they were wreaking havoc, man. Dominated. Makita na natin dito. Makta was first place. Second place is SDJ Reborn. Pero makita natin dito yung third place was one kanina ng team of Execration. And with that being said, I just want to say, at least for now, based off na sa buong season na to, I think all these teams will just constantly improve. Because I've talked to the coaches of all these teams, and mukang uh, they're just le trying their best to level up and level up and level up. And uh, off these games, you know they're gonna study it. You know they're gonna learn it. Alam mong di nila ipapalipas yung mga talo nila, itutuloy nila yan, o, o, of course. As for Pacific Makta, they will continue their reign here and next up to their international uh, tournaments kung ano man gagawin nila, they were closer than ever last time to yeah. ano, no, beating at least sa nakita natin yung powerhouses ng Crossfire, yeah. kagaya ng All Gamers, Baisha, they were close. They, they were, were close. very, very close. They were close. really close and that was a good sign of hope para sa ating mga Filipino representatives. Tama. And right now, as we speak, R2G, take a look at our bottom side of High Grounds Cafe. Both SUJ and Pacific Makta now celebrating with the crowd. A well-deserved celebration for both franchises as they have truly made this day a memorable one for all of us. Despite every hurdle, despite every challenge presented to their faces, they still walked home with a smile from ear to ear. Ito, ito, Salvador. Let's talk about a big question here. Let's talk about sino ang MVP mm. ng series na to, pare ko. Aldrin. Sa'yo? Yeah, Aldrin. 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 Bakit si Aldrin? Uh, it has to be Aldrin, man. That game won, if it wasn't for Aldrin, honestly, uh, that would have been a game honest uh, for SGJ. Just imagine if Aldrin wasn't able to complete the clutches, if Aldrin wasn't able to carry the slack that the other members was putting in to mm -mm. Pacific Makta. Mm -mm. If Aldrin was not there, it would have been a different story that we are telling right now to the audience. Para sa akin, pwede din si ZYK. Because makikita ko, na, makikita ko sa Map 2 and Map 3, they've had this really, really strong lurks that just created impactful kills for the team of Pacific Makta. And with that being said, we are going to see who it is as we throw it dito sa host natin of Pocholo Estrada. Take it away, Poch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the grand finals match. And right now, it's time for the awarding ceremony. So let's welcome on stage our friends from CFS HQ, Mr. Sun Lee, to come on stage to help us with the awarding. So in third place, Please make some noise for Team Execration!
So, isang question lang para sa lahat. K can you... <laughs> Sino? Any, any. Oh, sige, sige. I-rate nyo yung performance nyo this season sa fall. Ano, ano, ano? I-rate nyo yung performance, 1 to 10, ano? 10. 10. So, any shoutouts you want to give out to Execration fans? Oh, Shoutout sa mga fans namin dyan! Ah! Exer Magingay! Ladies and gentlemen, Team Execration! And for your second place, ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for SGJ Reborn! Interview for for the long. Okay, sige. Okay. Player. So, sa inyong overall performance, I rate niyo one to ten sa entire season. Lahat ng ginawa namin eh. So ten percent. Ten percent. And ano? Ten percent. Ten percent. Ten over ten for ten for ten. And any shout out sa mga fans ng SJJ Reborn. Shout out sa lahat ng fans ng EXE, ng Makta, of course, the SJJ my family. And sa anak ko, kay Tardy. And congrats kasi may second baby na ako! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, S... Oh, sorry, congratulations sa Marta kayo, ang champion ako, ang bagong daddy ulit! Ladies and gentlemen, SGJ Reborn! And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, your first placers and the one that will represent the Philippines at the CFS Masters Grand Finals. Give it up for Team Pacific Makta! Interview. <laughs> Sino po? Quick question lang. Sino po? Sino po? Sino po gusto mo? Si King? Si King? <laughs> so, kumusta yung feeling? Ang dominant ng performance niyo. Kumusta yung feeling? Uh, masaya. Masaya. <laughs> Any shoutouts mo? <laughs> uh, Shoutout sa Pacific Makta fans, sa lahat na nandito, na sumuporta, sa Pacific Esports, sa e happy birthday po kay Ma'am Vance. Para sa ito, Ma'am. So, let's look at the screen po kasi may MVP performance. So, uh, we're gonna throw it to Prod. Sino yung MVP? Si Aldrin! Aldrin, quick question lang. So, Ikaw yung MVP. Uh, ito ba yung highlight na performance sa entire season? <laughs> ano yung highlight niyo this season? Sa, sa inyo po. Ano yung pinakamaganda? Masaya lahat ng puyat namin. Lahat ng puyat namin. Hindi <laughs> 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 
Sa mga naipag-practice sa amin, ah, maraming salamat sa inyo, pati sa mga hindi na ipag-practice. Thank you pa rin. Ah, shout out sa mga supporter na ano, Pacific dyan. Sa buong, sa buong crossfire community raw, ito po sa inyo. Happy birthday kay Pacific. Ma'am Bunch. Sina? O, oh, Tim Onse. Hello sa mga taga Tim Onse. Ladies and gentlemen, your MVP and your team that has gotten first place. Give it up for Team Pacific Magda! Once again, they are going to be representing the Philippines at the CFS Masters Grand Finals. One last photo up. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for us here. Thank you so much for tuning in to the CFS PH Masters 2023 Fall Finals. My name is Spot Spice. Thank you so much. Crossfire Rocks. Good night!